15, 15. Eight. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Jim. First Snow. Welcome back to Jim, I guess. <laughs> Hi, everybody. How's it going? Happy Tuesday. Two twofold Tuesday. Twofold Tuesday. To Tuesday it feels it feels so weird for me to say that. I, it's wrong. I I can't say it. I'm too British to say Tuesday without it just sounding really weird. But uh, welcome everybody. How's it going? I hope everyone has had a a good start to the week. Um, you may have noticed. I'm um the countdown started a little late today. I'm very unprepared today, and I ran out of monster and my my ultra rosa. Pack of 12 still hasn't arrived. So I had to go to the shop across the road and like interact with people in order to get my monster for today, which was a little painful, but I did it. I did it, I made it, I survived somehow. <laughs> and not only did I get the can of the Ultra Zero for today because we got the the white, oh, oh I'm small. I'm small, thank you for the chibi redeem! Look, I even keep the blanket on this time. I, I remember to keep the blanket. <laughs> thank you for chibiing me. But uh, not only did I get the Ultra Zero for today, because white can for first snow, I also realized the, stop, the shop across the road from me has started stocking the peach one, the peachy keen flavor. So I've, I've, I've got a can of the peach one too, and I haven't tried it yet. But I love peach flavored things, so I'm I'm really excited to try that. I'm not sure if I should have that today instead of the, the white can. But it feels right having the white can for first snow because of the snow and snow being white, you know? <laughs> yes, I, I, I survived. Small Leary. I just trotted over to the road all like two foot of myself. Two foot? No, I feel like two foot would be too big for a chippy. I would still be terrifying at that size. I don't know. I've never thought about my canonical chippy height. <laughs> but uh, I'm... Yeah, it's like the... Usually, like, I would be fine if they had, like, self-service checkouts, but they don't. You have to interact with a cashier at the shop across the road from me, and that's why I always put it off. <laughs> that's the reason why. I usually wait until we're going to a supermarket because then I, I don't have to interact with people as I'm buying my stuff. But thankfully, it was very straightforward. It was just like this, please. Card. Thank you. And I was gone. <laughs> but let me let me scroll and say hi to everybody. Bob, hello. Thank you for the luck. I hope the meetings and figuring out PC stuff goes well. Rika, they welcome in. Congratulations on the first. And also good luck with the, the work training as well. I hope it goes well for you. Akira, hello, welcome, welcome. Lovely to see you. Thank you for 
Thank you for the sound alerts, as always. I love having the sound alerts in the countdown. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Who else is here? Gray Snow, hello! Wait, that's so true. Snow is gray. But that's okay, because the, the monster Ultra Zero can does have gray on it as well, so it works out. Either way, it's still the snow can. <laughs> Welcome, welcome. Oh, and Rika, thank you for the 15 month sub as well. 15 months. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, Maya, you made it in time for the beginning of the stream. You did. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Flint, thank you for the, the gym. Welcome, welcome to gym. <laughs> and welcome to you. And Brinley, hello. And Suzume, hello. So many people here. Kuro Syllabus, hello. Kuni, hello. I'm, I'm getting very comfy today. But yeah, I'm, I am I like self-service checkouts because I don't know, like when I'm, when I'm interacting with cashiers, it's like, I can do it, I just don't like it. <laughs> it just feels really awkward and I walk away and I'm like, well, that was awkward. I think it's just because I'm an awkward person in real life, but I, it wasn't as awkward today as it usually is, like I, the, the girl at the checkout smiled at me. I smiled back. It was a very nice time. Had a nice little have a good day at the end of it. It, it went it went better than most cashier experiences. <laughs> but yeah, not only did I get the Ultra Zero, I also got the Peachy Keen Ultra, which I've never tried before because I haven't seen anywhere that sold it. But they've they've like restocked across the road since the last time I went there, which is admittedly quite a long time because I usually order things in or go to a big supermarket. <laughs> uh, it's it's funny, you'd think I'd prefer like a small shop with nobody in there, but I prefer big supermarkets for shopping because I can hide amongst the people. I can like be disguised, nobody notices I'm there, I self-check out, leave, I'm gone. I sneak in and I'm out <laughs> as, soon as, I'm, as soon as I'm done. But yeah, I haven't been across the road in a while, but I went there and there's a whole shelf. Like, there's a whole shelf of monster. There's a whole fridge full of prime energy. Like, if I wanted to prime, they have so much prime energy over there. It's like an entire fridge full of it. Like, I've never actually tried prime. I feel like I should at some point just to see what it's like, but I've never tried it. But uh, yeah, they, they have loads of different monster flavors there. So I picked up a can of the peach one. I didn't pick up the cans of all the other ones because it's really, really expensive to just buy a single can of Monster compared to buying a multi-pack. <laughs> and I'm a cheapskate, so I, I, I only bought like the one extra flavor. But I get to try the peach one now. Also, die! Hello! Oh my goodness, 35 months! Oh my goodness, you're, you're a month off the, the three year. The three year mark, that's so exciting. Thank you so much for the resub, hello! Uh, and a great self-checkout would make you interact with people less if they didn't break half the time and you have to ask for help. Yeah, I, I think that would also be a problem with me if I'm buying energy drinks. Because there's a... You, you have to be 16 and up to buy energy drinks and high caffeine products. And they would have to like do the confirmation on the checkout machine as well. So it's probably faster just interacting with a person there <laughs> but it's funny because a lot of the time like if I'm self-service checkout buying monster uh, they like the assistant will come over to the the self-checkout machine they will look at me and my tired eyes they will nod and they'll just pass it through <laughs> like yes this woman is clearly over 60 <laughs> I have life life experience in these eyes <laughs> you can tell by how tired I look but no, it's 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 funny though. I it's I actually had like a funny experience um with a friend of mine. I was with with a friend like we were both like very well into our 20s when this happened. We went to the shop at New Year's like just before New Year's to buy a bottle of non-alcoholic champagne because we wanted to like have like a bottle of bubbly to celebrate the new year with but we we weren't drinking. And we got ID'd for non-alcoholic champagne. So there were two levels there. It was like, first level, there's no alcohol in this. Second level, do we really look under 18? I'll take it. I'll, I'll take it, thank you. 
and it was just so funny. Just we we just like shared a look with each other, like, really, really. <laughs> I will. I'll never. I'll never forget that moment. It was so funny. Ah, uh, you've heard Prime is just fancy coconut water popularized by a YouTuber. Oh, is it coconut flavor? Is Prime coconut? I didn't know that. I'm I'm not the biggest um, coconut flavor fan. The only time I really have coconut is if I'm um, is if it's alcohol and mixed with things. But uh, <laughs> but I'm not really a big coconut fan. And just something about the flavor is like I'm I'll I'll eat it, but. I prefer other things. I prefer other flavors. Also, I see you've noticed the new emote. I, I was going to wait until Sunday to add it, but I made it and I thought it looked cool. So I added it. But uh, I've added a new emote for when I play Outer Wilds on Sunday. <laughs> because uh, very, very, very minor, minor spoilers for Outer Wilds. But in the DLC for Outer Wilds, I've discovered blue fire and blue campfires as opposed to regular like orange flames so I thought it would be fun to have the two emotes like we've got the the orange flame for non-DLC and then the blue flame whenever I'm in the DLC area <laughs> and I thought I, I feel like it turned out really cool as well like I love the way it looks it's I'm a I'm a big teal fan anyway so it's a it's a nice shade of fire <laughs> Right, but uh, before I get back to um, rambling on, uh, this isn't spoilers. You expect me to find a way to make fire in every game I play? No, I just find the fire. I don't even make the fire. I walked up and the fire was already there. That was not me. I did not do that. I'm, I'm not the one who lit the fire, I swear. And oh, the true Dirty Dan, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Hi, just found my YouTube channel. Left a sub there. Oh, thank you so much. Greetings from Germany. Ah, oh, guten Tag. Uh, wie geht's? Uh, that's about all the German I know, I'm afraid. <laughs> but welcome in. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad you like my voice. It is mine. And I'm very fond of it too. <laughs> but thank you so much for following here and YouTube. I hope you enjoy your stay here. Oh yeah, Prost! Oh, we literally learned that in the game last time as well. <gasps> Hold on. Yeah, you know what? Prost. <coughs> there we go. Okay, I was I was going to decide whether to try the peach flavor monster today. I just opened the can. Oh, oh, I'm back to I'm big again. I'm back to normal, no longer bean. I just opened the white can, so I guess this is the one I'm drinking today. Although I I could try the peach. I could still I could open both of them. I'll just drink the other one tomorrow. It just means for the stream tomorrow we won't have a a nice ring pull moment as I open the can. But I do kinda wanna try this peach one. It, I really like peach flavor. I I really like peach. Like anything peach is it's it's like peach flavor, mango flavor. Those are like my favorite flavors for things. I'm also a big fan of basically any berry flavor. If anything is berry flavored, like strawberry, raspberry, and blackberry, blueberry, I if it's berry flavored, I will like it. I like berries. Yes, welcome in! Uh, sehr entspannt? What does that mean? I must Google this. Oh, Yeah! <laughs> Dankeschön! <laughs> Very relaxing. Oh, I'm so glad you think so. Thank you, thank you. Uh, you've never had energy drinks. Don't they have carbonation? They do! They do have carbonation. The, the the energy drinks I have are all are all carbonated. But I'm I'm a weird person, and I I like flat fizzy drinks. <laughs> also lovely to see you again, Caps. I'm so excited to play more of this. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's 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 not something for everybody. It they do go flat if you open the can and leave it a day. But I'm, I like them, I like energy drinks even when they are flat too. In fact, I kind of find them a bit easier to drink when they're flat. I feel like when they're fizzy, 
I have to drink them quite slowly because of the bubbles, but once they're flat, I can just like chug the whole can. Actually, after saying that out loud, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. I, I shouldn't be chugging energy drinks. <laughs> Never mind. Don't listen to what I'm saying. Yes. Oh, really good pronunciation. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, one, one thing I am good at is uh, mimicking pronunciation. Like, I won't know what I'm saying, but I can, I can mimic things pretty well. But I actually learned a little bit of German when I was in school, but it was so long ago that it's, it's all gone from my brain. It's, it's all just gone. Except that I remember that the word for opposite from something is Gegenüber. I don't know why that is like one of the few words that I like actively remember of German. It's not really the most useful word. <laughs> but for some reason, I will never forget Gegenüber von. Like, uh, uh, we did like a whole class in school about positions and how to ask for directions and when something is across from something else. And that's all I remember from it. The only word. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really bad with languages. I'm the only language I really know is English, but I want to be better at languages. I like having the opportunity to pick up phrases, like useful phrases in different languages, like being able to say hello and ask how someone is, like little things like that, even if I don't know much else. I feel like they're, they're nice things to know. It's, it's nice to like at least make an effort. But yeah, I, I don't know many. <laughs> Ah, uh, someone left chicken sandwiches out of the refrigerated line at work. Oh no. Oh no, do you know how long they've been there? <laughs> oh, that doesn't sound great. Uh, I hope I hope they haven't left it out too long and it it's not too bad. But uh, either way, I am so excited to play some more first snow because last time I played this, we ended after the confession and I I made so many unearthly noises. I looked back on the VOD afterwards and I was like, why did I make those noises? Why why am I like this? What do I do? Oh, and thank you for the dictionary narration as well! We have a dictionary narration redeem for the letter T. Let's see what word we have. Boom. Oh. That's not the word. <laughs> That's me looking. No, those are the noises I made when the when the confession happened. Wait, you're right. <laughs> you're so right. That's. It. I I just looked back on the vod and I was like, I'm I'm embarrassing. I'm embarrassing myself here. Just so excited over the, over these art club women. I I love this game. I'm so excited for Twofold as well because. Like, this is just the prequel. This is a free prequel. This game doesn't feel like it should be free. I feel like I'm I'm scamming by playing it for free. I, I'm gonna have to find a way to, to pay money towards this because it feels bad having this for free because <laughs> of how much I've enjoyed it. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do actually? I'll, I'll just, I'll just gift twofold to some of my friends. I'll just, buy it for them. Whether they want it or not, I'll just be like, hey, here you go. You get a game. <laughs> Wait, or I could buy the Hydro Flask. You're right. You're right. I could do that. Also, Ace, hello. I am I do have the dictionary out. I got distracted. But I have the dictionary, and the word we have is teaspoon. The letter T. We have the dictionary entry for teaspoon, which is a noun. One, a small spoon used for adding sugar to and stirring hot drinks. Or two, the amount held by a teaspoon. In the UK, considered to be five milliliters. There is also the noun of a teaspoonful. It's actually in the dictionary. We get a, a teaspoon. A teaspoonful of something. <laughs> it's teaspoon Tuesday. It is. Oh, I, I should. I should buy the flask. I should buy the flask. It's such a good, good flask. But uh, uh, you still, still use Zoom Beispiel to take notes during class? Ah, oh, that makes sense. 
cool. Yeah, that's a handy thing to have as a note, just right. ZB. And oh, you love energy drinks, it's your life elixir, but mostly drink sugarless because don't want to gain weight. Yeah, I, I always have the, the sugar-free ones. Uh, I am, I'm a big fan of Monster Energy Ultra. All of the flavors I have are always the ultra ones, which are like the, the zero sugar, zero calories. Because otherwise, that would be a lot of sugar and a lot of calories. But I also find that I just, I prefer the taste of them too. Like the, the ultra range of Monster, it tastes so much nicer than everything else. Like I've had like the, the Monster um, no sugar version, which is still like the black can. I don't like the taste of it as much. I don't like the taste of it as much as the, the Ultra Zero. It's, I don't know. I think they're a bit sweeter, maybe, the Ultras. And I really like sweet flavored things. But yeah, I just really like the taste of them. It's 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 like, it's a funny coincidence that my three flavored, fla flavorite, I did it again. <laughs> I said flavorite last time as well, that my favorite flavors are the ones that just happen to match my color scheme. Like, I like the white can, and then I like the, the Ultra Rosa, which is the pink can, and the Ultra Fiesta, which is the teal can, and my whole color scheme is pink and teal. <laughs> it's pure coincidence. It I didn't intend for it to, to be that way, but it just kind of turned out that way. And it's like, it's, it's the best coincidence, because they taste so good. But yes, I'm a big fan of the Ultras. You know what, I keep talking about it. I think I want to try the peach. I'm going to try the peach one. Hold on a sec. I want to try it. I'm so, I'm so curious. Ultra peachy keen. I've never tried this one before because I've never found it. It's got like a, it's like a salmon-y, orangey pink kind of can. Wait, there's a whole like little thing written on the side. Hold on. The summer of love was about hope, peace, and connecting to something bigger than yourself. A time of carefree fun, limitless possibilities, and believing anything but the man. So don't take our word for it. Check it out for yourself, because it's all good when you're sipping ultra peachy keen. Zero sugar, juicy flavor, and the monster energy blend from our secret stash. Everyone from boomers to zoomers is down with that. Wow. That sure is something. <laughs> Right, well, I, I really like peach flavor things. So I hope this is gonna be good. We get two ring pulls today. We're not gonna get one in tomorrow's stream, but it means we get two now. We had the one earlier, now. Ah, oh, there we go. The moment of truth. Wait, I, I'm that child that says they love blue flavor because it's blue. Okay, but speaking honestly, blue flavor is is blue there there is a flavor of blue sometimes there are blue things they do not have a flavor that you can name as anything other than blue they they taste like blue it's it's when it's like the really bright blue they taste like blue <laughs> but i i do like blue but i i i would be like that too i'd, I'd be a child just being like i like this because it's pink <laughs> like for the longest time with sweets i would always say that my favorite sweets were the, pe the pink ones because they were pink. But as I became an adult, I was like, actually, I really like um, the other flavors as well. They're not particularly my favorite just because they're pink. <laughs> and oh, Jack, good news. Your, the horoscope that turned life chaotic is right. You've down two people at work. Oh no, no, that's bad chaos. It was meant to be good chaos. It's okay. It's okay, the, the universe will even out. Things will get easier, I believe. Oh, I hope it's not too too hectic though. Right, I'm gonna have a sip of the Ultra Peachy Keen. I don't, it, hold on. The can feels lighter. Like I'm lifting both of the cans, the can that I just opened and the peach one. The peach one feels lighter. Am I, am I imagining things? No, they're the same amount. It says they're the same weight. I don't know why it feels lighter. This is so strange. Right, anyway, time for my sippy. Oh my goodness, that's incredibly peachy. This is really, really peachy. 
That is super beachy. Oh, I love it. Oh, no. Oh, I really love it. Oh. That is so peach. It, it's like the aftertaste of this energy drink. Like, usually there's an aftertaste that's like slightly artificial. The aftertaste of this feels like I've just eaten a peach. What the heck? This is wild. This is wild. This is amazing. I love this. Oh no. Oh no, I found a new favorite flavor. Oh no. <laughs> oh, this is dangerous. I could just keep drinking this. I need to stop. I need to put it to the side. I'm... I'm just gonna keep drinking it if I hold on to it. I'm... It, it's just peach. It is... It's pure peach. It is peach. But uh, this is the Monster Energy Ultra Peachy Keen flavor. And I've never tried it before. But oh my goodness. It... Yeah, I, I... It just... I just have the taste of peach in my mouth now. It's so nice. It's so nice. I just taste peach. It's so good. Also, Flint, did I say hello to you? Hello if I didn't, and hello again if I did. Also, Aya Sami, lovely to see you too. Welcome, welcome. I'm very distracted by everything because of running late today, but it's okay. It's worth it. But yeah, the, the ultra peachy keen. Oh, my mouth just tastes a peach now. That's, that's incredible. I didn't expect it to taste more peachy after drinking it. I'm... Oh my goodness, I- that- oh, no, I'm having a, another sip, I'm- Give me a second, I apologize, I will play the game soon, I promise. I promise, I really should have it just as like, just chatting for the first half hour of stream, probably. <laughs> but I promise I will- I will start soon, but I have to do something quickly now. Very quickly, I have a- something I need to create for my overlay now that I've discovered another favorite <laughs> I need to make another little little can let me just remove the background another one for the collection because I am definitely having this again I'm oh it's so nice Okay, now I need to try and figure out where I saved the other cans. Eight. Oh my goodness, I actually saved it in a, in a, a logical place. I saved it in a, a place that makes sense. Also, Timochi, hello! Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the, the eight gym doot. The eight gym doot. The eight gym doot combination. Triple whammy. Uh, you joined... Just in time, I'm having a an existential crisis because I no longer have three favorite flavors of Monster. I have four. I just tried the Ultra Peachy Keen for the first time and it's incredible. And I also, um, the folder I saved my Monster cans in is Documents Stream UI Monster. It actually makes logical sense. I am, I'm usually a fiend for just like new folder 27 and stuff like that, but I actually saved it in a place that makes sense so I could do this quite quickly. It's, I'm amazed. Right, so it's 200 pixels. Resize. Oh no, I'm I'm just cropping the canvas. That's that's the wrong one. Uh Okay, I think this should work. Give me a second. The thrilling the thrilling first snow gameplay of me changing the uh the monster can in the corner of my screen before I start. Okay, moment of truth. Dun, da, da. Yeah, look at that! There it is. That's the that's the peachy keen. I'm having the peachy keen flavor today. Ah, <laughs> uh, although uh, don't don't worry. Um, I, I saved them all in the right folder, but the file names themselves are. 
Hold on, I can show you this. I can show you this. Let me just crop it quickly. But Zarok, hello as well. Thank you for throwing things at me. And yeah, I changed the monster can on my overlay to whichever flavor I'm drinking today. It's something that, um, I don't know why I started doing it, but I'm glad I did. Ah, ba -ba -ba. Let me just crop this quickly. I need to get one of those like shortcut things where you just like, you can make like a, a, a box on the screen and just like copy it to clipboard like that. I need to do that because I'm just like manually cropping everything when I take a screenshot. But um, the it's in my uh, stream and then UI and then monster folder, but the files inside look like this. <laughs> yeah. But it's okay, because I don't need to organize them by name. I just find the one that's the right color and stick it up. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really bad at naming files. I'm really bad. I need, at some point, to like actually have a big sort out of my computer. Because like I've, I've got files everywhere. Like, it's the things in my documents are really well sorted. But the problem is, most things are not in my documents. Most things are in my downloads folder. And my downloads folder is 21 gigabytes. Uh, <laughs> no, 22, sorry. No, it's still climbing. 23, 24. It's still counting them. It, we're up to like 100,000 files just in my downloads. <laughs> yeah, that's, I need to sort that. I gotta sort that out at some point. But the, I've I've been too busy recently though to have the chance to sort it. So hopefully soon. Fingers crossed, very soon. But yeah, there's other stuff I've been working on at the moment that has slightly taken priority. One of those things being uh, sorting out the the anniversary merchandise bundles. If anyone has bought a one of the anniversary bundles, like the pre-orders. I'm so sorry it's taking so long. There's, there's been trouble with some of the things, but we're making progress. And uh, I actually have some cheeky little previews I can give of some of the, the merch later. Like some of the manufactured stuff has actually come in already, which is really exciting. Wait, I might be able to do that now. I could just do that on stream, hold on. Who wants some cheeky little merch previews? Who wants who wants a cheeky preview before I post it later on? <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Anyway, uh, I've I've been really excited because I've just been like waiting for updates as everything's being made. Because with it being pre-orders, it was basically like we wait until the pre-order period is up, and then they go to manufacturing to make sure. We know the amounts, but because of that, it means it takes a while because we have to wait for the manufacturer to make it. And then we have to wait for it to get shipped to the the central location where all of the like the merch stuff happens. Thank you so much, Josh from Studio Elan for <laughs> everything to do with that. All of the Studio Elan stuff like involved in the merchandising side of things. Like I am so appreciative because it's got to be so hard to organize but they're doing it for me and I can now show you they're real they're real and they're so good they're so nice the standees have turned out so wonderfully I am I am thrilled I am so thrilled I'm so excited to be able to uh to send them out like to have them for everybody to like have these put them on your desk and stuff i'm really really excited like i knew they'd turn out well because the art was gorgeous but seeing like the photos of the the physical products it's just like oh my god it's real and also also there is this <laughs> sticker book is also real 
Uh, I think the only thing we're waiting on now is the the stickers. Waiting for the stickers, and then the bundles can start to be assembled and shipped out. Uh, I think unless unless there is a miracle and things go really well, I think it's going to end up being June at the very least, like when the bundles start going out, because end of May is uh, there's going to be Off Kai Expo and things are very busy for Off Kai Expo. There is so much stuff that needs to be prepared for that. So, <laughs> so that's like the main priority because it's super super close now like i can't believe how close off kai is i can't believe it's already may it doesn't feel like may but yes they're real they're real it's happening and i also need to finish signing all of the postcards too because i've 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 made progress but i haven't finished signing them yet so i do, I do need to do that um i lost my tablet pen recently <laughs> So that got delayed a bit, but I found my tablet pen when I sorted my room out over the weekend. But they look so good. I'm, I'm so excited. I'm really, really excited. I keep wanting to move them to the center of the screen and then I'm like, no, that'd cover Allison. I can't do that. But yeah, I'm, I'm so excited. It's really exciting. It's exciting seeing things happen. You know what I'm going to do actually? That's another thing I should mention too before we start. I promise I will play the game soon. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but uh, up here, my little tip goal. My little tip goal. We made it. Yeah. It's going under the chat. I didn't realize that. We made it with a sneaky offline donation. I finally reached my goal. So my Outer Wilds Collector's Edition is covered. I'm going to get a kazoo. I'm so excited. So yeah, that's been ordered. So I'm, wow. I'm so excited for that to arrive later in the year. But I did it. So that means... Babum. Where did I put that? Where did I put that? Babum. That means we're done. We, we hit the goal. So thank you so, so much, everybody who, who helped out with that, who contributed to that. And you can't really see it. This is a bit small. But I'm putting these up here anyway, just because... They fill me with joy, and I like to see them. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just keeping these up here. Why not? It's my stream. I can put up what I want to. <laughs> New goal? No, I'm... I don't know. I'm... I'm a, I'm a bit of a... I, I feel bad setting goals for like frivolous things like this is the first time i've really done like a donation goal for something that i've just like wanted on my own <laughs> there's a there's a lot of like i think it's like a common thing with streamers there's a lot of imposter syndrome i'm like well it feels a bit cheeky for me to be asking for that but uh the, the tips will always be open if anyone ever wants to make sure i treat myself to something nice <laughs> One thing I've always said is that uh, any of the tips I get will be dedicated to, like, nice things for me. Because I I spend all my own money on the important things. So, <laughs> so we'll be like, okay, I spent all my money on um, Tiffany's boosters for the vet. I will live on instant noodles for the rest of the month. And then someone sends a tip and I'm like, oh, wait, I can I can get nice food. Thank you. <laughs> But yeah, it's it's always an optional thing. Like if if you want to support the stream, honestly, the the best support is just people being here. I love I love seeing people being here and keeping me company as I ramble on about energy drink flavors. <laughs> but if you ever want to give anything more, like it's never expected, but it's always really really gratefully appreciated. Yeah, I think mostly like the best way to support me if you really want to and get something for yourself too is um getting the merch because I, I get merch revenue splits so that's like it's a good way to support me and get something for yourself as well and then there's there's always like subbing as well like subbing on twitch is always a good thing and you get all the emotes then as well <laughs> 
<laughs> the best support is the surprise parcel of monster. It's so true. I love, I love that you keep gifting me monster. You're, you're like keeping me stocked in monster. Thank you so much, Bob. But I'm glad you fixed the driver issue as well. I'm glad. On instant noodles, do you need to worry? No, you don't have to worry because I, I love instant noodles. Like instant noodles and chicken nuggets. It sounds so unrefined, but it's such a nice filling meal. It, it's really nice. I just like noodles. And dinosaur nuggets. <laughs> oh, Rika, thank you for the gift sub. Thank you, thank you. That means somebody else gets the emotes as well. Thank you so much. Right, but, uh, oh, Bob, did you see the, the merch teaser that I did? Let me, let me show you quickly in case you missed it. It's happening. It's happening slowly but surely. <laughs> it's happening. The sticker books are real. The standees are real. I'm waiting on the stickers still, and I need to finish signing all of the postcards. Because I lost my tablet pen, so I it's taken a while. But I, I wanted to show that there's progress happening. Like I I wanna be like, I promise I'm not a scammer. I know it's been quite a few months now. I'm <laughs> we're just waiting. We're just waiting for everything to arrive. But it's oh it's so exciting. I'm so excited. Uh, but yeah, with with Ofkai being at the end of the month, it's unlikely that things will be shipped before then. But uh but I'm I'm just really excited either way. I hope everyone loves it when when everything arrives <laughs> very excited oh my emotes need to be shared with the world oh they're, they're so good they're so good ghost aficionado my emote artist also one of my besties for a very long time <laughs> he only started doing my emote art because i was going to do it myself and they were kind of rubbish and he was just like uh i don't want to like overstep or anything but if you wanted me to do emotes for you I would be willing to he did my first few emotes and I've, I've just commissioned him for everything else ever since <laughs> it's so good but yeah I'm glad everyone else likes them too I, I I don't know what my favorite is I think the one I use the most is uh the Liri Bongos this one also I think there's a chat delay as well I think I forgot to fix the delay again since uh, Outer Wilds. Let me let me very quickly fix that. <laughs> very quickly. Um. Going to moderation. But yeah, it's like it's one of the things with pre-orders. Like speaking as myself, like I never feel worried when a pre-order is taking a while. Because I'm kind of, like, I, f I feel like I'm used to it. Like, I pre-order so many things. And sometimes I'll pre-order something and I'll forget about it for, for like, a year. It'll take, like, a year to happen. And then I just get a random parcel in the mail. And I'm like, what the heck is this? Oh, it's that thing I ordered a year ago. It's like a present to myself because I forget about it. <laughs> but, yeah, I, w I just want to make sure that I can, like, keep everyone... Like, in the loop of what what's happening. Like, a little bit of reassurance. Just like, yeah, it's it's happening. It's still happening. And it, it means I get to give, like, little teasers too. So that's fun. Right, I'm going to refresh the chat box on the screen. Because I think... The delay should be fixed now. Yeah, the delay's fixed now. Okay, that's good. It's it's only it's not as it's not like the four seconds from Outer Worlds anymore. <laughs> but uh you're also waiting on a plushie from a game that started a bit earlier. Yeah, plushies always take a while too. Oh, uh, I've I've got so many plushies that I pre-ordered. They're, they're very cool. I'd love a Liri plushie one day. I think that's like my ultimate goal for merchandise. Like there's a I, there's a lot of ideas for things I want to make, but like my ultimate end goal is I would, I would love a Liri plushie. That's I would I would love that. <laughs> that would that would be like the dream for me. But I'm also kind of picky with with designs and stuff, so it would have to be perfect. I I wouldn't want it 
if I didn't feel like it was like perfect well not perfect but like the way I would want it I'd be very very picky with it I have three dolls though I do I have my three dolls and I love them so much but that's not merchandise <laughs> people can't buy them they they were made for me from my my lovely barbarian unicorn moderator but yeah, I, I feel like a like a chippy plushie would be so cute. I'd love to do that. Do I have favorite chips or sweet stuff? I I love lots of things. Uh, my I I think like if you ask me what my favorite snack is, like as a go to snack, I would instantly say gummy worms. I I very very much like gummy worms. <laughs> but I I still have like half a tub of gummy worms that I haven't been eating because I've just been having like one or two at a time, but I got a massive tub of them. And after I've had a couple, I'm like, well, well, I'm happy now. I've had my gummy worms, I'm, I'm satisfied. So they've lasted me a really long time. But yeah, I do like sweet things. I'm, I'm, I'm a sucker for sweet stuff. I really like sweet stuff. Anyway, speaking of sweet stuff, are we ready to get back to the girlfriends? I think I'm ready to return to the girlfriends after 45 minutes. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's it's chatting and gaming streams. But it's okay, here we go. Uh, once he waited for merch from Japan when deliveries to Germany were impossible right before it should have been set out. Oh no. Oh, I remember when that happened too. When there were so many like restrictions in place because of COVID and stuff. Oh, I remember that too, because I I think I had like an anime figure that I had pre-ordered and I had to cancel the order for that because they just couldn't send it to me. And I was so sad. But it's okay. It just means more space on my shelves. You're currently busy with pea chips because you got gifted 70 packs from a local shop. Wait, that's that's an amazing gift to have. <laughs> what are those? What are what are pea chips? I don't think I've heard of those. Bum, bum, bum. No, I've not seen these before. Ooh. Oh, they look quite nice. There's a whole bunch of stuff here and I'm like, any of this I think would be very nice. But yeah, 70 packs. That's, that's gonna keep you going for a while. Wait, what's the expiry date? It might not keep you going for a while. You may have to eat them all. <laughs> oh, yours just arrived very late. Oh, but it still arrived. Oh, I'm, I'm glad it still arrived in the end then. That is always good. Right, I've I've jabbered on long enough. I, oh, I went to click new game, no. We're so far in, we're, we're continuing. We load game. And we are at the day after. Far over the date, but they still taste normal. Oh well, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm the kind of person where I consider it more a guideline. But yeah, if it still tastes normal and everything is fine, then nice, free food. <laughs> right? Are we ready for the day after? Oh, I'm, I'm so happy that I managed to end last stream on the confession. Like that felt so good. That felt like such a perfect moment to just think about my favorite girlies. Right, anyway, it's time for the day after. A loud yawn fills the living room, the droning of the television briefly overshadowed. The scene couldn't be more normal. Rose lounging about on the couch watching the morning news, the sounds of traffic outside heading off to work, and me stumbling around pulling on the last of my clothes as the morning's lessons loom. One thing is different now, though. <laughs> it was pretty gay. It was. Yeah, honestly, I a little part of me does wonder if I sh I should start streams with a with a just chatting section instead of being like on the game menu and talking for so long. But I I don't know. I feel like if I tried that, I'd run out of things to talk about after ten minutes. <laughs> It's like, I don't know when, when the chatting is gonna hit. 
properly. But it's okay, because that's like, that's just the, the vibe here. We're just, it's a very casual time. When I upload the VOD for this, I, I'm going to put a timestamp in for when the actual game starts. <laughs> because uh, for my first, uh, my first snow VOD that I uploaded to YouTube, uh, someone actually like posted a dislike on it. And I think it's because I, I chatted for so long without gameplay. <laughs> so I think if I have timestamps, that'll help with that. But uh, yeah, I, I just, I don't know when the, the chat will happen. But it's so perfect, we get a recap for what happened last time. It really was the perfect spot to end it at. Just thinking about what happened last night makes my heart race. But I have no idea what's supposed to happen after something like that. What happens when I see Eileen again? How close am I meant to be with her now? Uh, meant to be with her now that we're going out. Ooh. Then the, the kiss itself playing over and over in my mind. The feeling of her soft lips on mine, the way she looked so flustered afterwards. Oh! <laughs> Stop daydreaming, you gotta get ready for school. A sharp pain from my shin brings me back into the real world, bending down to rub my poor leg, revealing the cause to be walking into a chair. Oh, Alison. <laughs> The feeling of embarrassment isn't helped by Rose looking over in concern. You are right. It's nothing, just bumped my leg. Not sick or something, are you? You're even more clumsy than usual today. I'm fine, just didn't sleep much last night. It's times like this that normally being a morning person doesn't pay off. I shrug off her concern as best I can, distracting myself by throwing on my clothes to prepare for the chill outside. Hmm. Just take it easy, all right? The ice is bad enough out there already. Okay. I will. <laughs> Yee -hee. The walk down the road towards campus does me good, giving time for my mind to settle and get back to the daily routine. Not everything is quite the same, though. My footsteps feel light, and what's typically an arduous walk feels unusually easy. Space Dinosaurus, hello! Welcome, welcome. Welcome on in. You're, you're just in time. I just clicked load game again. <laughs> After like an hour. Hi. Welcome. I'm not quite dancing in the streets, but the day feels just a little brighter than usual. It's nice. The snowfall's been getting heavier now that it's December. I pass a few people standing outside buildings while looking mournfully at their roofs, plotting how to dislodge the snow piled on top. The traffic's also slowed to a crawl, rolling by carefully. Ads for Christmas sales on television are in full swing by now, which reminds me that I should get my shopping done when I have some free time. I think I can scrape together enough money to buy a little something for everyone in my family. Then there's Christmas cards for my new friends here, not to mention organizing a trip home for the break. Christmas is meant to be relaxing, but it feels like there's so much to organize for it. Coming up to the campus, I try to focus my thoughts back onto school for the time being. Thankfully, the paths here are better cleared, if nothing else. As students file in past the gate, my heart skips a beat as I recognize a particular blonde girl. Hee <laughs> hee. Imagine having snow in May. Hi Nugs! Yeah, I'm I'm playing this at probably the the exact opposite time of year to when I should be. But it's okay. Although I, I do remember we have had snow in April over here before. I do remember snow in April at some point. I don't remember when that was. I think it was a while ago now. But I only remember it because I remember thinking of how weird it was to have snow around Easter. <laughs> but ah, uh, speaking of Yuri, uh Sasayaku Yoni Kuiwo Tau. Ooh. Oh, I'll have to check that out. I am I do love Oh my goodness! <laughs> pa! Bob, thank you so much for buying me some more monster. Oh my goodness. 
even more even more it's it's all going to arrive at once now isn't it i'm gonna open the door and there'll be like a bunch of crates all stacked up <laughs> thank you so much thank you for the monster it is so appreciated but uh oh what, what was i talking about oh yeah anime i i used to watch a lot of anime i'm mostly too busy to watch anime now i read a lot of manga instead but i i do there's so much i, I keep meaning to watch there's so much I want to watch. I, I've got a big long list of things I want to watch, but I will add that to my list. <laughs> Stop feeding my monster addiction. No. No, please do. Please keep feeding it. I'm very happy with that. <laughs> but thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I really hope the other one arrives soon. But uh, if not, I've got enough to keep me going until the end of the week. So... Maybe it'll arrive tomorrow. I'm, I'm gonna manifest. Manifesting universe good luck that it will show up tomorrow. <laughs> but thank you so much. Thank you for the, the monster invasion. It's okay though, because I always, I always drink monster responsibly. Like, I, I may have opened the white can, but I'm not going to drink that today. I'm gonna save that until tomorrow. I'm just drinking the peachy keen at the moment. Oh, it's, I'm gonna have another sip, actually. A celebratory sip. I cannot get over how peachy it is. It is so peachy. Oh, I love peach. I love peach flavor. Ba ba ba. May have? May have what? Wait, did I say like may have something? I've I've already forgotten what I just said. Maybe I do need more monster, honestly. <laughs> oh, was it like I, I may have another sip and then I immediately took a sip? That it's gonna it's that, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I might have another sip. I'm having another sip. Oh, I may have opened a white monster. Oh yeah, that's because earlier in the stream. I opened the white monster instinctively when I got a hydrate redeem, but I wanted to try the peach one. So that wasn't like may as in I might have. It was, I may have opened a white monster. Like even though the white monster is opened, I'm still not going to drink it today. <laughs> the, the subtleties of the English language. It's a, a different meaning of may have. Cause it's like sometimes you can say, uh, I may have done this, but, and in that situation, it's meant as more of like, even though I have done this, I'm going to do something else. Oh, and Dr. Anime, hello! Welcome, right, right as I'm talking about how I don't watch enough anime. <laughs> welcome in, I hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome, you're just in time for me to take another sip of my monster. Because I got a hydrate, thank you, Bob. Oh, thinking about it. I should have made tea today. I didn't think about making a flask of tea. That would have been perfect. If I had like a tea flask for, for playing First Snow. It's okay, next time. Next time I either continue playing this because it takes me so long or I start playing twofold. I'll make a flask of tea. Water is necessary to, oh. okay. Okay, I will actually hydrate as well, okay. I'm not having water, I'm having Sprite, but I'm, I'm actually hydrating too. <laughs> Just because it's you. <laughs> oh, really important question. Do I like licorice? licorice? Oh, actually, I think licorice is something I tend to avoid. Like, I feel like it's a bit too strong tasting for me. Uh, I like some licorice based things, but when it's like black licorice, I'm, I'm not a fan. There's other things I much prefer. But yes, oh, it would have been perfect with the teaspoon narration from before. Oh, it would have. Yeah, I, I didn't have my tea, but I did read the definition of a teaspoon. So at least there's that. But yeah, next time. I, I love that it's just like I, I recognized Eileen and then immediately just panic and stand on the spot and drink a can of monster. <laughs> Let's continue. 
She looks back and notices me as I skip up to meet her, her usual tired expression unwavering. I've never met someone so far from a morning person. Oh, you need to meet me too, Alison. I'm, I'm really not a morning person. <laughs> I'm an evening person. I do so much better in evenings than I do in mornings. Hi. Morning. Alison. Hey, Alison. The smile. The smile. I'm so happy. With that, the both of us begin the walk in side by side. All thoughts of schoolwork leave my mind as I try to stop myself glancing at Eileen, furtively trying to work out exactly how I'm expected to act around her. A flask of tea just sounds badass. Well, I, I have like a, a drinks flask, like a, a warm drinks flask. And every time I make tea, I always make it in the flask so that it doesn't go cold. Because if I just make myself a cup of tea, it, it will go cold. I will not drink it while it's warm. I will forget about it, and I will finish drinking it cold. <laughs> it's why I tend to have fruit teas a lot of the time, because with a fruit tea, even if it goes cold, it still tastes nice. As opposed to just like cold regular tea. <laughs> but with the flask, I don't have to worry about that because it stays warm. Even when I forget about it for a while, I can just go, oh, I have tea. And it's still really a really nice temperature. Very nice. <gasps> Grabbed a can of Ultra Fiesta because of me. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Oh, chrysanthemum tea is your favorite. I've never tried that. I wonder what that would be like. Might have to try it sometime. But yeah, the one I tend to have is a strawberry, raspberry, cranberry tea. It's a really nice berry tea. And it's it's very it's very refreshing. <laughs> Question is, is there a monster-themed flask? Probably one exists. I don't have one. But no, my flask is... Uh, um, everyone's going to be so surprised by this. Uh, my flask is pink and teal. I know it's really out there. I know. I'm so unexpected for me. <laughs> but no, I have a really pretty flask. It's a nice one, and it keeps my drinks warm. Wow. <laughs> Truly shocking. I love that the wow sound effect happened right as Nugs typed wow in chat as well. Like the exact same moment. <laughs> Such a surprise, I know. But it's a really nice one though. It keeps my drinks like the perfect temperature for like more than a day, honestly. Like I've made a flask of tea before and had a sip of it the next day, like forgetting I made it yesterday and it's still been warm. It is incredible. It's really good. Anyway. The part where we admit we're interested in each other is also where most of the romance movies I've seen end. And I've never gone out with anyone before. Then there's the fact that neither of us has said a word to the other beyond a quick greeting. I try to comfort myself with the thought that it's probably the same for Eileen too. It's always so hard to read her poker face. Good grief, it's cold today. Key. Oh, have one plus 20 other tea sorts. Oh, Japanese sencha green tea? I'm not sure. I may have tried it. I've tried quite a few green teas. I'm not sure exactly which ones they are. It's usually other people making the tea for me. So I may have tried it. But I, I do love green tea as well. It's... It's something that feels like really comforting in cold weather to have green tea. It feels very, very like soothing to me. <laughs> She's not thinking at all about yesterday, is she? With a long breath, it feels like all my restlessness leaves me. Eileen's relaxed attitude makes me feel embarrassed for getting so worked up after, after seeing her again. Um... How are you so confident about this? You know, with us going out and everything? Huh. I'm just really good at faking it. Oh, big mood. I relate. I relate, Eileen. Put on the mask. Pretend you're a normal person. Yes, I do that too. <laughs> Ever tried press tea? Are the ones you have to steep? I've tried a few before. Uh... 
but I, I, I tend to like, just for convenience sake, when I'm having tea, I tend to have tea bags. Tea that I can get in tea bags as opposed to like pressed tea and tea leaves. But yeah, I, I need to try more teas. I feel like I haven't tried many. Like I found a couple that I really like and I just keep drinking those ones. <laughs> I don't try new, new types. You'll be in and out. Oh, oh, nice. Are you able to do like a, you've upgraded your PC so you can then upgrade your fiance's PC with like, like a hand-me-down system. That's so good. I love that. I hope it all goes well. Thank you for lurking. That's what I did. That's what I do when I upgrade my computer. Like when I upgraded, when I upgrade any of the parts in my PC, I end up like, Installing them in my friends' PCs to like upgrade theirs too. <laughs> we'll be like, I'll, I get a new audio interface and I send my old interface to a friend. Like, here you go, you can get an XLR mic now. <laughs> it's nice. Right, anyway. Hanging my head, I give up on ever trying to read her. The grin Eileen gives makes me feel better about today in an instant. Her normally cold demeanor, if just for a moment, is pierced by that sincere smile that peeks through. A smile which soon evaporates, collapsing into something else entirely. Is it Caprice? Hmm? Is something wrong? I just remembered something troublesome. Is it Caprice? <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> it is. It is. I knew it. Caprice... I almost ask why before the obvious hits me. With my thoughts finally moving beyond the girl at my side, the implications of all this become clearer. Should we just tell her? I'd rather not. You know Caprice as well as I do. I don't want her to make a fuss about us getting together. <sighs> then again, she'll probably work it out herself. She's not stupid. She knows how, she knows to pay attention if I'm serious. Besides, is there really that much harm in letting her be happy for us? My serious tone in defense of Caprice seems to catch Eileen off guard. It catches me a little off guard too. Okay, fine. Oh, oh, okay. Fine. If you're going to tell her, then I want to be there too. The discussion comes to an end, yet I find myself not wanting to leave, despite having nothing further to say in particular. It seems Eileen has the same problem as she awkwardly mills about, the chatting students passing around us only making the silence between us more pointed. Would it be okay to kiss her? Here and now? Yesterday in the park, we did it without thinking. Eileen's always so awkward about physical affection that I'm not sure she'd like it, especially in public. Look, I can tell you right now, Alison, do not kiss her in the doorway of your school as people are walking past. Eileen would hate that. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Yay, gay people! Hi, wannabe weeb! Yes. Yes, it is. Choose Tuesday, choose gay. <laughs> Welcome, welcome. Kissing already. Oh, you missed the end of the last stream then. We had the first kiss. And I... I, I made many excited squeaks. I, I was squeaking. I don't know why I was squeaking. <laughs> but no, we've... we've. What next? Hand holding. Oh no, that's, that's a bit... That's a bit far. Look, the kissing is okay. I'm, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I think they may have already... Yeah, they held hands as well. Wow, there really was a lot going on. But yes, please, Alison, please don't kiss her here, please. <laughs> yeah. What I'm thinking must have been plain to see as Eileen reaches down, placing her hand on top of my head and scruffing it about in response. It might be an odd way for her to show her feelings, but I can't say I hate the gesture. Oh, no, it's... Okay, the, the PDA here is just head pads. I like that. I like that as a way to show affection in public. Just little head pads, please. I'm here for that. 
I feel my cheeks blushing as her hand rubs my head, enjoying every moment until she stops. Eileen's awkwardness around all this makes me feel a little better about my own uncertainty. Yeah, it's okay, neither of them know what they're doing. They can discover it together. <laughs> Everything will work out fine, I'm sure of it. Ever the optimist. We'd better get. Oh my goodness, wait. I'm sorry, Automod just held a message. And the reason is the funniest thing to me. Like, I'm obviously allowing it. There's the message. But do you want to know what Automod said was a terrible term that is not allowed? Kissing her. We can talk about how hella gay everyone is, but if you say kissing her, that's too far. No. <laughs> the term, kissing her. I had to just add kissing her as a permitted term <laughs> to my autobot. That is the funniest thing to me. That is so funny. It's like, I, I do have Automod, like, fairly high to make sure. Because I'd always rather it catches something and I can just let it through than risk something bad being posted. But that one just, that's tickled me. That's so funny. Just kissing her as a term. <laughs> Wait, can someone type kissing him and see if that's allowed? It'd be so funny if kissing her is blocked, but kissing him is allowed. <gasps> no, that one's also blocked. Okay. <laughs> All right, I've added that as a term now. Kissing him and her. How about kissing them? Allow. Allow. That is an allowed term. How about kissing them? <laughs> we need to see if it's inclusive. <laughs> kissing them. That's also okay. All right, there we go. Well, I've, I've added all of those terms now anyway, so we could talk about kissing. Oh, apparently it's different if it's capitalized. <laughs> this is so funny. We're learning about Automod today. Thank you, thank you for, for catching these terms for me. Yeah, kissing is way too risque for Automod. Like, goodness gracious. But it let hand-holding through. We mentioned hand-holding and that was allowed through, so... So, please, Automod. Uh, oh, and Automod doesn't recognize Neo pronouns, apparently. I guess because there's quite a few of them, it would take a lot to add all of that, but that is, that is an... What's the word? Oversight. <laughs> That's the word I'm looking for. That's an oversight. Uh, kissing the automod. That's allowed. Kissing the is okay. We're allowed to kiss um, inanimate objects, just not people. Anyway, let's get back to these women who have kissed each other. <laughs> We better get back to classes. See you at the club, I suppose. She sure doesn't seem to share my optimism as she waves and walks off. Nor my like of our new club. I'm sure she'll come around, though. Hee hee hee. With the afternoon wearing on, I trudge up the familiar route to the second floor of the arts building. The sound of raised voices comes from a come from up ahead, easily audible in the otherwise dead silent hallways. Don't kiss people without consent. That's true. That's a, that's a very good point at all times. But we were simply talking about consensual kissing, so... <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, they're coming from the art room itself. Stealing myself for what's to come, I sigh and head on up to the door inside. Oh, what's going to happen here? Oh, love the decorated moose in this background. Yeah, me too. I love how there was clearly already this on the wall and they added like a Santa hat and a red nose to it to be like, yeah, this is a reindeer now. Thanks for understanding. <laughs> All right, what's going on here then? Oh. I'm not used to seeing Caprice with that kind of expression. Eileen and Caprice have already arrived as usual, each standing on the opposite side of a table as they fume at each other. Oh no, um... Um, hi? 
Oh! This is intimidating. Their heads snap towards me in unison the moment the door rattles open, making my heart skip a beat. Um... Yes? <sighs> Help me talk some sense into this woman, please. Eileen! <laughs> Just relax! As Art Club President, I have everything under control. Everything except the club part. I mean, I would have thought a club needed things like official paperwork, an advisor, funding for supplies that haven't been pilfered from the real art classes. Basically more than an excited proclamation of a club existing. <gasps> ah, yeah. That's why I'm working on the posters! <laughs> Join the new art club. Visit us in room 257. Just check if the door is open. <laughs> Graphic design is her passion. <laughs> serious fuming? I think this is serious fuming. I'm... It's... Well, like, serious as in, like... They are mad. <laughs> uh, feeling sorry for the heavily sighing Eileen, my eyes drift to said posters lying on the table between them. I like that the word join is bigger than art club. I walk over and tentatively take a look at the one sitting on top, its sharp graphics and colour scheme catching the eye. Hmm. They do look nice. Thank you! See? People will love them! I may say that, but it's a little obvious this is out of her comfort zone when it comes to art. Her sketching is always nice, but her work with paints comes off as a little crude. Still, trying new things is to be praised. Caprice. Think about this logically. It's nearly Christmas. All the students are going to be on break soon. Even if they weren't, nobody would be looking for a club to join around now anyway. I wouldn't exactly say that. Caprice is quick on the drawers. She leans over and latches onto my shoulder, beaming a smug look of victory at her opponent. I feel like I've been reduced to a useful prop in an argument, but Caprice isn't wrong. Eileen looks physically pained as she groans in frustration. She did walk right into that one. Uh, Jack, please, please, please don't make comments like that. I... I'm, I'm gonna have a second now to like have a, a little serious thing like I'm not like mad at you or anything just like something I want to say in general but uh, I it's a little pet peeve of mine when people see like a visual novel and they compare it to Doki Doki Literature Club like it's it feels so painful because visual novels have been a thing for so long like there have been so many that existed before Doki Doki and now it feels like whenever there is just a regular visual novel, there's always going to be someone going, haha, is it going to be like Doki Doki and everyone dies? And it's, it just, it's, it, it just feels a little painful sometimes because it, it's, I don't, I don't know what it is exactly, but it's, I think because I love visual novels so much, it's like, very easy to like see a serious thing that is made like with passion and heart and it feels a little belittling to then just be like well is this just going to be like a horror gimmick thing like doki doki was amazingly made as well like i i that game was it's incredible it is genuinely like when i played it i was like holy crap what is going on and I really love it for what it is. But it's, it's like the generalization and it then, it also like, I feel like people don't intend for it to come across this way, but it's very easy for it to come across as the, like, what am I trying to say? How am I trying to word this? It's, uh, 
I, I, I can't figure out how I want to word this. <laughs> it's like, it feels like it's kind of diminishing regular visual novels. It's like people are given the impression of like, this isn't interesting unless it has a weird gimmick that's going to happen. And a lot of visual novels aren't like that. It's like, it's about the story. It's about the characters. It's about the development, seeing how things play out. And it's like, I, I, I do realize it's definitely not intended that way most of the time, but it does feel a little bit like, well, I'm going to compare it to this thing that it's completely different to just because they are visual novels. <laughs> it's like, oh, visual novel in a school. Wow, this is the same thing. Like, it, like I'm not just going to start playing this and, and then just be like, oh my goodness, they're in a school, there's romance. It's just like Heart of a Boyfriend. Wow. It's, they're different. They're just really different things. And it's, uh, it's also something I really like that Doki Doki does well. The fact that it has content warnings. It says straight away as you start to play it, this is a horror game. There is horrific stuff here. If you, if you are not sure whether to play it, check out this big list of content warnings and then probably don't play it. Like... It's it's the kind of thing where, like, because of the severity of the content in it, it needs those content warnings. But yeah, it's just like, I'm, I just, I really love visual novels. And I'm a really, I'm really passionate about stories that, like, invoke emotions and feelings and conversation topics. And, like, relationships, family, friends, life in general having like a purpose, figuring out who you are. I really, really love that. I really love those kind of topics in visual novels. And it's something that's so like deep and meaningful and you can tell that so much passion goes into it. So that's like the main reason why I don't like seeing like, oh, well, it's making me think of Doki Doki because it's a completely different thing. It's a totally different thing. But yeah, I just, I wanted to mention that just as a little thing because <laughs> because I feel very passionately about visual novels. I love visual novels. I'm I'm I love them so much. I love the stories and characters and development. It's so good. But yes, I just it's it's just because you mentioned Doki Doki, like I'm not mad at you or anything. It it just gave me the opportunity to mention this. But yeah, I, I feel like it's it's just like the fact that it became such a popular game for people who haven't played visual novels and maybe don't know what visual novels are. Like, they will have played Doki Doki for the first time and kind of get an impression of like, ah, so this is a visual novel? When really, it'd be like, it'd be like reading the Bible and then just being like, ah, so this is what books are? Like, <laughs> they're not all like that. <laughs> they're very much not all like that. Also, Brisket, hello, welcome, welcome. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. And also, Leonard as well, welcome in. Uh, your cat told a joke today, but you didn't last. He took it personal. <laughs> That's a terrible pun, I love it. <laughs> Doki Doki is the Bible official novels. I didn't say that. No, no, don't. No, I didn't say that. Apples and oranges, please. <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe I could have picked a, a better example. I could have maybe said, like, a, it's like reading a Stephen King novel and being like, oh, this is what all books are like. <laughs> I don't know why I instantly went to the Bible. Why Why did I think book and I instantly was just like, oh, yeah, a book, Bible. <laughs> it is a significant book. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Anyway, uh, back to um, this. I'm guessing Caprice has not actually registered this as a club yet, as an official club. That might be a little bit of a problem. Although, honestly, I could see her doing that. She would make everything for the club and then roll up with the paperwork like, Hi, we got a club. You can't turn us down because I've already done everything. So there. <laughs> Ba -ba -ba. Uh, please, please don't make comments like that, Bob. Thank you. 
Uh, Eileen looks physically pained as she groans in frustration. She did walk right into that one. In what could only be interpreted as the universal sign of giving up, she shakes her head and starts to walk away, retreating to the cabinet to grab her things. It looks like posters will be the accomplishment of today, as far as the club goes. Oh, are we all gonna design posters? Oh. Oh, please let me doodle a cat on my poster design, please. I suppose it doesn't hurt to try and draw in some more members. Yeah! Hopefully we can get them soon, too. I wanted to have another club outing, and the more the merrier. And like I declared, we're gonna make the pizza place a regular thing for the club! Yay, my poor wallet. A universal sign of giving up, just like, ugh, leaving. It's, it, it is, it is very much a universal sign of giving up. <laughs> it's okay, I just, just, uh, I just very much want to be like, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything. Like, hinting at it is kind of like saying it, if you know what I mean, so. So this is a place of uh, tolerance for other people's opinions and beliefs of any kind. The only thing I won't tolerate is intolerance, the, the tolerance paradox. Uh, if you start trying to belittle people's human rights, then you have lost the privilege of being tolerated and you'll be banned. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it, this is like a comfy place. I don't want anyone to like walk in and see a comment and just be like, oh, well now I, I don't feel like I can post here and leave again. We're here to be comfy. I love that I'm saying we're here to be comfy as there's an argument happening on screen. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I, I know you'd never mean it like that. So thank you for apologizing too. But yes, I, I wanted to mention something anyway. And the pizza place is gonna be a regular thing for the club. But yeah, it's like, I, I saw a thing online that was like the, the paradox of tolerance. It's like, if you tolerate everything, then you have to also tolerate people who are intolerant of others, which kind of makes the whole thing fall apart. But then I saw someone referring to it as like, okay, you don't just instantly get tolerance, you earn it. And like, it is a privilege to be tolerant towards everything. And if you do something to break that privilege, then you are no longer tied to the contract of tolerance and you're out. <laughs> and I really liked how it was worded like that. Just like, I'm tolerant to everybody except for those who are intolerant. In which case, I, you're out. <laughs> Ba, ba, ba. Oh, no, what's funny is that Stephen King doesn't even consider himself a horror writer. Well, he is. Whether he considers it or not, he is. Like, <laughs> he, he writes a lot of horror, so I... It's... I, I don't know what I think about comments like that, because it's like, if, if you write stuff that can very easily be put into the category of horror, and then try and say, oh, I'm not a horror writer, it's... That feels a little weird to me. I don't know. Anyway. Hi, Lyra. Nice to see you. Welcome. Oh, and thank you for the hydrate and posture check as well, Akira. Right, let's have a big stretch. A big stretch and a sip of my drink. That's a lot of words. English is difficult. I'm sorry. Yeah, that it is a lot of uh, complicated words at the moment. And I am speaking quite fast as well, so it's probably hard to pick up. I'm sorry. But it's basically just, uh, I'm tolerant of everybody unless they do something that belittles other people. Like, if everyone is tolerant of each other, it's great. If anyone stops being tolerant and starts being awful and bigoted and mean, then they're out. They're not, they're not in the tolerance club anymore. They're kicked out. <laughs> Let me have a sip of my monster. Oh, it's every time I take a sip. It's so peachy. It's so nice. I love it. I love the peach flavor of this. It's so good. 
Yeah, maybe the kind of horror he makes doesn't feel like horror to him. Yeah, personally think it's more thriller than horror. Oh, but see, the thing is, horror is such a broad genre. Like, I think a lot of people think of horror and they just think of things like slasher films and monsters and gore. But there's so many, like, subcategories. Like, there's psychological horror, where there's, like, it's, it's mostly, like, playing with your mind, that kind of thing. There's, like, the thriller horrors, where it's all about the suspense and that kind of thing. There's so many, like, different subcategories. It's a really, really broad concept, which is why it seems so silly to to be like, well, I, I'm not part of that broad concept. But that's just my opinion. And honestly, like, it, if, if he doesn't think he's writing horror, then he could... Go for it. Go for it, buddy. <laughs> write what you want to write. It's probably what it is. He probably just writes what he wants to write. And it just happens to fall under the horror category a lot of the time. Like, honestly, though, one of my favorite Stephen King novels is probably, like, one of the least horror ones. I really like... Uh, it's called Cell? It's like a apocalypse, like, end of the world kind of thing around cell phones. And that one is definitely more thriller, but it's still got horror elements to it. It's still, like, I would consider it a horror novel. But yeah, when I go for horror, I tend to prefer, like, the psychological horror or, like, the the things that are, like, just a bit twisted, you know? But yeah, I, I really like that book. <laughs> oh, you love it too, Rika! I'm glad. But yes, the wannabe weave! I am. I tried a new flavor of monster today. I have Monster Energy Ultra Peachy Keen. And it's so nice. It, it's, it's just peach. It just tastes like peaches. I take a sip, I put the can down. My mouth still tastes of peaches. The aftertaste feels like I've just eaten a peach. It is so nice. Like, I don't know what I expected from it, but I didn't expect it to be... Like, this genuinely peachy, if you know what I mean? Like, like an actual peach as opposed to, like, artificial peach. It tastes very peach. It's very nice. <laughs> anyway, uh, back to Pizza Place being a regular thing that we can all definitely afford. Where's my cursor? Here it is. Sure thing. I'm up for it. Eileen looks drearily at the traitor to her cause, but knows her goose is cooked as she hangs her head. <laughs> I love that phrase. <laughs> she knows her goose is cooked. I swear she looks more tired than usual. Exactly! Then it's settled! Caprice goes back to fussing over her posters, brushing off some specks of dust that have settled on the paint. Taking advantage of the distraction, I look to Eileen. She grimaces as I pointedly flick my eyes back to our companion, plainly hoping to leave this for another day by her reaction. No, I wanna, I wanna tell her. I wanna tell her. Yes, here we go. E. Reluctantly, Eileen sets her paints down and plods back over like a child accepting their bitter medicine. You don't have to look so upset about it. This is a nice thing, honest. In hindsight, perhaps she was trying to use her painting as an excuse to not deal with this. Caprice is one of my few friends, however. I'd feel bad hiding this from her. Even if we tried to, she'd just poke and poke until one of us eventually spilled the beans. Probably Alison. <laughs> so it makes sense to tell her first. What's up with you two? Um, about that. We've got voices now. Caprice... There's something we need to tell you. <gasps> to make this absolutely clear, this does not leave the room. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am! He. I'll bet. Eileen and I have started... I mean, it just happened recently, but... Sorry, one second. There's... There's a, there's a very distant police car wailing in the distance. The mic isn't picking it up, thankfully, but it was very loud for me. Okay, it's gone now. <laughs> oh, you couldn't install the pieces, wrong case size. Oh, no. Oh, apparently I have to permit asking if you're gay as well to auto-mod. Thank you. 
But oh, do you, do you need to get a bigger case then? See, that's something I'm very lucky that I don't have to deal with because my, my PC case is huge. My case is massive. I've got a massive base. <laughs> oh, repasted it though. Oh, that's that's always good at least. Top up the, the thermal paste at least. All right, here we go. We're going out. She said it. I feel Eileen take my hand in hers. Oh my goodness, and we got hand holding too. I worry for a second about the sweatiness of my palm, but feeling her hand closing around mine settles my nerves. I'd never realized how warm someone else's hand could feel. As her fingers tighten, I realize something else. Eileen's settling herself just as much as me. <gasps> They're comforting each other. Ah. Eh? Like dating? So you guys are both... <laughs> you know... Roommates? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're gal pals. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I love that that's Caprice's reaction. <laughs> the little giggle, she's just like, ooh. <laughs> Oh, I love her. I didn't think she'd take it badly anyway. She She's Caprice. She wouldn't take it badly, but I was wondering how she would react. That's the best. That's the best reaction. <laughs> oh, I love this. My guess that Caprice wouldn't go too wild turns out to be true, with even her surprise feeling a, a little exaggerated for effect. I love the thought of Caprice just being like, well, yeah, I figured you were gay since you just look at women all the time. <laughs> Turning to Alison like, well, obviously you're gay, but... <laughs> and Alison would just be like, was it obvious to everyone except me? <laughs> Caprice says gay rights. You had faith in her. Yeah, I had faith in her too. I, I never thought she'd take it badly, but I did wonder if she'd be a little bit like oh hoo hoo hee like trying to go too far but it doesn't seem like she's gonna do that I, I love the thought of her just being like well yeah thanks for telling me I, I already knew but uh, thanks for telling me well then aren't you glad you can do art together all the time now <laughs> Wait, this is so funny. We're, we're coming out to Caprice and she's just like, hey, well, this is a great reason to join the art club. <laughs> this is so great. I love it. She's just like, well, well, I guess you'll just be here all together all the time in the art club that definitely exists. Yes. <laughs> Have a sneaking suspicion that Caprice may not be straight. I don't know. She seems so... I, I can't even... No, I was going to say she seems straight to me. I can't say that with a, with a straight face. <laughs> uh, I, I, I feel like it's, it's the, the, the well-known phrase of birds of a feather flock together. You know? It's something I found as well. Like, it, we always manage to find each other out. Like, no matter what happens... Like, I can go to a place for the first time and meet new people, and I'll end up, like, hanging out with a group of people who seem cool to me, and then it turns out we're all gay, and I'm like, wow, I knew it. I knew it. It just, it just happens. <laughs> with a what face? Exactly, I can't say it with a straight face, because I'm too gay. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, people joke about the gaydar, but I, I feel like my gaydar is pretty well honed in many ways as well like there have been a few situations as well where like I, i'll talk to friends it's happened with at least two friends now where i've been talking to friends and i've been like i'm pretty sure you're trans but i'm not going to say anything because obviously that is like a very personal thing and then later on they come out to me and they're like actually could you use different pronouns for me and i'm like yeah 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 that's right that's how it should be 
<laughs> that feels right now. It's 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 actually kind of sweet. Like I I love the fact that I'm able to like notice that, and then also like the fact that they have the confidence to come out to me too. I'm like, yeah, absolutely. Or like if they're not sure and they want to try pronouns out, I'm like, yeah, okay, I'll use different ones for a while. See how it feels. See if it fits. Because there's like a friend of mine as well who's non-binary who used he him pronouns for a while but after a while they were like no i don't think this is quite right definitely trans mask but can we go back to they them and i was like say no more i definitely can <laughs> but yeah I'm, I'm always just here like i will protect if anyone comes out to me i will smile and pat them on the head and protect with my life <laughs> Yeah. Oh, the, wait, I just saw an earlier message as well from Lyra too, saying also, all Eileen does is paint nude women, so at some level she must have known about her too. <laughs> yeah, it's, there, there's little hints. There's little hints. But uh, honestly, feel like I'm quite a safe person. I, I really appreciate that. Thank you. That's what I want. That's that's the kind of impression I want to give off. Like, I'm I'm never the kind of person to judge somebody else for things like that and I'm I'm a very fierce advocate for people doing what makes them feel comfortable like if you find something that fits you perfectly then that's yours accept it embrace it wear it like a, a warm hug <laughs> and then if you don't want labels attached if you don't want to be connected to any of that that's also true don't let other people make you feel like you have to stick a label on things it's it's all about what's good for you i think and i like that and i i like that i've managed to make a community that really fosters that too it's like there's so much diversity in my community in like gender sexuality there's like a mix of everything and i really love that i really love that it's just like a comfy place for everyone because it's like at the same time i don't want I don't want to make like the kind of community where I just keep making gay jokes and then straight people feel left out because that that goes against the inclusivity as well. Like, <laughs> like it's a community for everyone. I'm here to make a, a comfy place for everybody. Wait, this is the funny. Oh my God. <laughs> I need a second. That got auto-modded for the word hole. <laughs> it was... <laughs> that, that message got auto-modded for the word hole. <laughs> Wish it was the homestuck that was auto-modded. Oh god. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect that. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, hold on. Oh, I need a second. I'm... <laughs> oh, my chest hurts. <laughs> I'm gonna have a sip of my monster. Yeah, like what the heck? Auto mod. Auto mod just made things really weird when they didn't have to be. Like what the heck? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh that. Oh that. That really caught me off guard. <laughs> That caught me so off guard. We're going back to the game. Uh... All right, back to Caprice and her non-reaction. Just like, oh, you're gay? Well, you can be gay together in the art club, wink, wink. Thank you for the hydrate. <laughs> okay, I'll have, I'll have some Sprite as well. Ah, uh, Homestuck. In the good old Homestuck days. Yeah, Homestuck wasn't auto-modded. It was literally the word hole. I am genuinely just... I may have to turn auto-mod sensitivity down because that's ridiculous. <laughs> that is just in a word. That is just a word in the English language that is used for so many things. Oh, auto-mod. Ha! Ah, right. Back to this. <laughs> Look, we don't need any help. 
much less help from you. <laughs> but she wants it's to right. help. I appreciate what you've done. Just don't go too crazy helping things along. Promise. Uh. Okay. Promise. Sounds like things are lively in here. Oh, the uh, hi. Hello, why is Wallace here? Hello. Huh? Our gazes, our, the gaze snapped towards the doorway. Wallace strolling in with an expression more bored than in the least bit surprised. Eileen's hand lets go of mine, but the warmth remains as I reflexively feel my hand with the other to recount the sensation. I'm glad Eileen is a more collected person than I am, calmly playing off the interruption. Oh, he looks so comfy with the, the scarf and hat on. Just as she's about to greet him, though, Millie slides around his large figure and into the room. What's she doing? Wait, why is... Why is everyone... What? Hello? Suddenly... Um, hi. Millie, you're here! Um, I, I wasn't expecting this. You're looking cheerful today. We just finished our own club work, so we thought we'd pop by. Is Wallace in the, the writing club? Oh, I, I love that the, the dialogue is literally the question I just asked myself. Wallace is in the writing club with Millie? He responds to my surprise luck with a shrug, clearly trying to avoid setting off Caprice. Only for now. <laughs> She's not giving up on that. <laughs> Only until I graduate from this place. I'm not joining this club, no matter how many times you ask. Oh, isn't he? I don't know. I don't... I don't underestimate Caprice. And her tenacity. <laughs> Alison and Eileen told Caprice they were gay, and it created a shockwave that brought in every major character within a two-mile radius. I love it. Just like, oh, things are happening. You make it sound like being here is some horrible fate. I smile a little at Eileen, suddenly finding some pride in the art club. Now that someone's spoken against it. I love the thought here of Eileen only like agreeing now because she wants to go against Wallace in that kind of like sibling fighty kind of way. Because they, they give off, like, a very sibling-y relationship to me. Like, they, they kind of have that kind of, like, the way brothers and sisters, like, like, the jokey arguing. Like, I'm gonna say the opposite because you said that one, but only in, like, a very light-hearted way because we are still very close. Like, <laughs> I mean, that's the kind of thing I'd do with Xander. Even if I agree with him, I'll just be like, no. No, why would you think that? <laughs> As for what I actually came here for, Haley was wanting us to join her for takeout. Ooh. Who's Haley? Oh, right! Takeout! Lead the way! Millie gives us a polite wave goodbye as Caprice skips over to pick up her hoodie on the way out. I want to get takeout too. Club collaboration. <laughs> Probably gonna try to explain to them how writing is technically art and that they totally belong. No, there's already a writing club. So... Oh, and unless they're just like, well, what if you paint, but with words? Come join the writing club. <laughs> take out... I, I was thinking takeout as food, but I guess there are many definitions to the word takeout. <laughs> Unfortunately for Caprice, Eileen doesn't let her go so easily. And your club? Oh yeah, take, if you want a club, you gotta take responsibility, right? Oh wait, I just realized, no, Millie's asking that because she's roommates with Caprice. So Haley is probably the other roommate, I would presume. Maybe. We will see. Because we, we know that... Yeah, we know that Millie is her roommate as well, but I think they had another roommate as well. So I'm guessing that's Haley. And they're getting takeout on the way home. 
and asked her because they live in the same home. Uh... Uh... Today's art club meeting is over. Good work, everyone. We did it. <laughs> With a thumbs up from Caprice, the two disappear out the door and head off down the hallway. The three of us are left to our own devices after they leave. Okay, time to recruit Wallace. <laughs> Uh, I feel like y'all will like Haley a lot. I, I like everyone so far. I'm, I, I like everyone a lot. I'm, i I know I'm going to like. <laughs> While I think Wallace to be a perfectly nice person, I'm still not really sure how to act around him. With Caprice no longer being the center of attention, that familiar self-consciousness I have around strangers flares up once again. It seems I'm not alone and not quite knowing what to say. Wallace and Eileen doing little more than awkwardly mill about, about, around, around. Given that they're good friends, it makes me think something is going on. Hmm. Is it because I'm here? Hi, is it because of me? Am I making things awkward by being here? It does feel very awkward now. Wait, Caprice is the one going by saying, and they were roommates, and Wallace is the one going, oh my god, they were roommates. <laughs> I love that. I've, has anyone done that? Has anyone, like, drawn, like, a, a, I, I want, like, a drawing of that. I want fan art of that. If nobody's done it, I may have to try and do it myself. I'll, like, pull out my tablet just to, <laughs> just to do a silly meme. Um. Um. I've told her, Wallace, you don't need to keep your mouth shut anymore. I've just realized. I just realized she was probably confiding to Wallace about having a crush on Alice. <laughs> oh, that would be why. I see. Oh, that's usually you, the one that makes things awkward. No, 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 you don't. <laughs> But, oh, I, I I bet it is. I bet she, because of how close they are, I bet she confided to Wallace being like, well, yeah, you know that girl that came around the other day? I, I kind of like her. And he would give, like, wise advice of... Cool. <laughs> Surprise, Wallace is ace. Honestly, I could kind of see it. I don't know. In my mind, I kind of imagine Wallace is anything but straight. So it would be really funny at this point if he actually is straight. I would... It would be a plot twist to me, but I like it. Anyway, let's see. Let's see how this goes. As he lets out a sigh of relief, it finally clicks. Wait, you knew about Eileen and I? Eileen, yes. Not you, though. Just be like, oh, I, I knew she was gay. I didn't know you were. <laughs> well, I, I guess she just kind of confirmed it. Going by the fact this didn't just become intensely awkward, I'm going to say things worked out? Yeah. It did. <laughs> Where is he? A Wallace. Wallace. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. I love that. That's great. How dare you? I was looking at it for a second, trying to figure out what what a what a wall ace is. I didn't realize until I looked again, and then I'm like, that's that's his name. That's his name. It's just his name. I'm ah, I'm distracted by women. Sorry. Uh, Eileen takes my opposite shoulder and shakes me lightly. Seems so. E. Well, I'm happy for you too. Hope it works out. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Wallace. Oh, that's such a sweet smile as well from him. Thank you for the hydrate too. Let me have some Sprite. I'm having the Sprite first because the peach monster tastes so nice and I don't want to wash away the peach flavor. And now I'm monster. Oh, it's so good. I, I didn't expect it to be this peachy. Every time I take a sip now, I'm just like, it tastes so much like peach. I didn't expect it. 
All right, back to this. Thanks. Told you I'd find someone who could put up with me. <laughs> That's not the kind of thing you should say about yourself. Oh yeah, don't 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 be like that. You're great. Guess I'll get out of your way then. Just take things easy, okay? What does he mean by that? We will. Hmm. Right. We give each other our goodbyes before he leaves, his unmistakably large figure slowly disappearing down the orange-lit hallway. And then there were two. Happy Tuesday. Tuesday. I can't say Tuesday. I I wish I could say Tuesday without it feeling weird, but I... Ugh. And then there were two. Huh? I thought you didn't want to tell anyone. Wallace is different. He's known I liked girls since we were in high school. Yeah. <sighs> He's known I like you for a while now, too. I feel myself blush. The thought that Eileen had talked to Wallace about me like that makes me smile. I knew it! I was right! Eee! Suppose we'd better head home too, given the club meet's over. Oh, but we have this room to ourselves. Guess so. It's an obvious invitation for us to leave together, but I find my feet stuck. I know I'll see her again tomorrow, but... What? Something on your mind? <sighs> I don't really know how to phrase this, but... What happens now? <laughs> the, the expression she gives is one of genuine thought rather than judging me for being so lost. It's only now that I wonder if this is actually her first relationship or not. If it is, that makes my confusion a lot more embarrassing. That's up to you as much as it is me, you know. <laughs> it will allow that. But that, is, that, that was a fair term for auto-mod to try and auto-mod. But it is, like, affectionate. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I love the thought of him just wandering in, just like, it's a bit awkward. Oh, oh, you're dating now? Okay, bye. Let me, um, let me leave you in peace. Farewell. He, he knows how to, like, read the atmosphere. I appreciate that a lot. <laughs> That's up to you as much as it is me, you know. I guess school has got us for the week, but how about we go for a date on Saturday? Be good to get some use out of the car for once. <gasps> We're going on a date. We're going on a date, yes. Oh! Yes, that would be good. Hmm. I mean, uh, yes. Let's do that. Oh, I mean, um, yes. <laughs> is it just me or is it hot in here? <laughs> I love the thought of her just so enthusiastically responding to that immediately. <laughs> Thank you. How the heck? How the heck did that get auto-modded? You typoed lesbians and it got auto-modded. How did that happen? <laughs> oh, I know. Hold on a second. I'm. I will be right back. I'm heading in. I'm. I'm dropping the the severity a little bit. Ba, 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 ba. Let's have it as some filtering. There we go. I'm I'm reducing that a, a little bit. I'm I'm lowering the sensitivity of auto mod because this is getting ridiculous now. <laughs> les les beans, les les babies, les les beans. They're the women. women anyway <laughs> girls good talk good talk everybody thank you very much anyway <laughs> back back to the 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 
girls. <laughs> right, here we go. I can drive us, so just give a heads up once you've worked something out. As I consider the prospect, I can see a little excitement from Eileen at the idea of going on our first date, though I doubt she's realized it herself. As silence settles in the room, I see my chance. Allison? <gasps> oh my goodness. There is, there's a hand holding CG. What? What? Yes! Oh my god! What? Hold on, hold on. I was not ready for this. Hold on. Um, um, um. Give me a second. Uh, Wemst. I forgot that I changed my censorship axolotl to a Tiffany. Um, this is, uh, ha ha. Oh my goodness, uh, whew. Whew. I wasn't ready for that one. It's okay, you can look now. You can look now, I've censored it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the gift subs, the gift subs for hand holding. <laughs> Wait, Addy drew this one. I thought, I thought it had like the Addy glow to it. I can't believe I- here we go, uncensored hand-holding. There we go. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> also, oh my goodness, wait, so many people have started talking in chat. I, the, the uncensored hand-holding has brought everyone out of luck. <laughs> welcome, welcome everybody, welcome. Good morning, Tay. Hi, Niles. Welcome. You thought I said this wasn't the 18 plus version. I thought it wasn't. I wasn't prepared. My goodness. Yeah, if, if the stream gets flagged, it's her fault. Just be like, oh my goodness, I wasn't prepared for the uncensored hand holding. <laughs> oh, this is so pretty though. It's the, the way their hands are like so entwined really just, my heart is so full. This whole game makes my heart so full. <laughs> Taking Eileen's hands in mine and raising myself to my toes, I close my eyes and let my chin push forward. My heart feels to stop for a fleeting moment, my lips gently pressing to Eileen's as our hands intertwine. This is so pretty. It's so pretty. <gasps> Love the size difference too. I know you can see. You can you can see it's 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 very subtle, but like just enough. Like you can tell. Whose hand is whose? I mean, you can kind of tell by the sleeve as well, but... Uh. Oh, I love this so much. As our lips part and I come back down, my heart makes up for lost time. Come to think of it, I guess that's the first time I've ever kissed somebody myself. I have to admit, the physical side of us being together is nice, even if it is awkward. <laughs> heart too full, heart too fold. It's the same joke, but it's a good one. <laughs> oh, I love this. Oh. So now they've they've both kissed each other. Because the first one was Eileen making the move to start the kiss. This time it's Allison. I'm Next time it's a coin toss, who is it gonna be? Not that they have to take it in turns, honestly, like <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why my brain started going in that direction. They don't have to, like, take it in turns to initiate kisses. What? I, I don't I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm... <laughs> this game makes me so mushy in the best way. I love it. I can't help but feel the, li the sensation lingering despite the moment having passed, filling me with warmth. Even Eileen, so normally placid and stoic, looks flushed. The two of us end up standing around like complete dorks. <laughs> the only sound being the trees rustling outside. Yeah, ne next time they both lean in to kiss each other and they, they bonk each other on the forehead. Go, ow. And it's cute. 
she's, she's blushing. She's blushing. Ah. Uh -huh. I've been wanting to do that since this morning. <laughs> I swear, you're getting bolder by the day. With a gentle smile, Eileen reaches over and rubs my hair. Even if I still don't quite know how to react when she does so, I can feel my head leaning into it and a dumb grin spreading on my face. Up cafeteria time? With the day wearing on, I let out a badly hidden yawn as I leave the cafeteria. Drink! I clutch my bag tightly as I walk. Uh, I clutch my bag tightly as I walk, both from the cold and trying not to take up too much space given all the people milling around. Around, about, I can't read today. What is happening? There's the. 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 the, 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 the thank you. <laughs> thank you. My. My ability to speak is being eroded by... Yeah, it's, I've, I've got gay brain today. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't think straight. Because I'm not. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate. Here we go. Have a sippy of my monster. I can't help but eavesdrop on the conversations around me as I walk. The building humming with activity. One conversation from the groups idling about catches my ear, the chatter between some girls about their plan to be with their families again for the holidays. It makes me excited for Christmas all over again. As I push through the heavy door and step outside, I wonder if Eileen would be as eager. The fact she doesn't get on with her parents is a worry, but surely they can't be too bad if they're paying for her to live in such a place. Oh, Alison, you... She's so naive. She's so naive. I'm just... Oh. It's like I truly understand the, the southern uh, bless your heart or bless your soul in these moments. I'm just here like, oh, Alison, bless your little heart. <laughs> You're so wrong, but uh, bless, bless you for thinking that way. <laughs> Don't worry, the lesbians are ironing out all the wrinkles in my brain. Oh, but I need those for puzzle games. Please leave a few. Just a few. Although, I, I guess I can just replenish the brain cells with Monster. It's not a problem. I don't need them. <laughs> for all I enjoy Christmas, it doesn't sound like Eileen has much reason to. A sudden vibration from my pocket grabs my attention, my hand instinctively diving in to pluck my phone out. Hee <laughs> hee. She hasn't admitted it, but I think Eileen's enjoying playing with her new toy. It's blurry, Eileen! I love this picture. <laughs> you made a backup we can restore by tomorrow. Thank you, yes. Thank you. Ready, ready for puzzle time? Just let me do a, a... A brain backup. Brain capacity backup. She hasn't admitted it, but I think Eileen's enjoying playing with her new toy. She sent a message saying, hey, I'm in the coffee shop if you want to meet. Well, yes. I quickly text her in agreement and hit send as I step off the stairs, dodging a student I nearly bump into as I do. If only I had an extra set of eyes so I could use this while walking more easily. Or you could just stop to type the text out, Alison. She didn't even consider that. She's in such a rush to get to the coffee shop now. Heading towards the cafe, I muse on how normal things still feel. I'm happy for us being together, of course, yet life goes on. She enters my thoughts more and more these days, but schoolwork, chores around home, and the club don't stop. One thing has changed, though. I feel more sure of myself than ever. Knowing what my own feelings are is oddly liberating. Yeah, that discovery is very important. I'm so happy for her. I'm so happy. <laughs> True, can't keep a girlfriend waiting. The rush of warmth as I step through the door makes my shoulders slump in relief. Thank goodness for the interior heating being cranked right up. <gasps> there she is. It doesn't take long to notice Eileen sitting alone at a table with her coat and scarf in her lap, coolly staring out the window to pass the time. 
Walking up, I noticed not one, but two coffees sitting on the table before her. Hey. Hi, Eileen. Is someone else with you? Eileen's apathetic expression barely changes as she turns to see me sit before her. I'm a little disappointed, but I know her well enough by now to expect it. She's not the type to show her emotions easily. <gasps> oh, bless her. Bless her, she got us a coffee. Yeah, that's not limited to LGBT plus people too. Yeah, it's it's a, a such a universal thing. Like, just self-discovery in general. Like, it's, it's not just like romance and that kind of stuff. It's also like what you enjoy, what what like you like doing, what you don't like doing, what you want to do with your life. There's so many elements. It's it's such a universal experience. Like, who am I? Existential time. What makes me, me? Because <laughs> everyone is so different too. It's, it's the one thing that manages to be a completely universal experience whilst also being the most different thing. Which is always really interesting. And the second's for you. You helped me out earlier with life drawing, so I wanted to return the favor. It's fine, you don't need to repay me. So that debt was still lingering on her mind, huh? Now that she's bought it for me, though, I suppose I can't exactly say no. The coffee proves too hot as I bring it near my mouth, so I settle for blowing on it a bit. Hmm. How's your day been? Good. I mean, normal, I guess. I might think everything's still normal, but my nerves around Eileen haven't quite settled yet. We've only been together a matter of days. I gingerly take a sip to calm myself down before continuing. Hmm. Physics was good. Kind of basic right now, but I think we're going to get to some interesting stuff next year. So what are you doing? Mm. Trying to stay awake mainly. What a day. <laughs> Caprice? You're getting too good at this. I just awkwardly smile. As I do, my eyes drift to the side after noticing a sharply dressed familiar figure breeze into the cafe and up to the counter. Eileen follows my gaze, an eyebrow lifting. Oh, it's that mechanic girl. She's appalling with names. <laughs> it's Millie <sighs> from the Writers Club. She's Millie. You should at least remember who fixed your car. Did you want to talk to her or something? You keep looking at her. Oh, sorry, she's just a... A woman. <laughs> ah, well, I don't want to annoy her. She might be busy. I barely know her anyway. She's so shy. Allison is so shy. It's very sweet. Eileen looks at me a moment, unimpressed. I used every excuse in the book to not bother Millie, too. And again, I suppose that's the problem. Hey, Millie! Oh, she's doing it for us. Thank you. I shrink in my seat at Eileen's casual calling out across the cafe, taken completely off guard. Millie turns towards the, sa the source of her name, giving her usual calm smile upon recognizing us. See? It's not that hard. This is a good opportunity to know her better. Okay! We're gonna, we're gonna bring our friend count up to, um, three and a half? From two and a half? Because we've got Eileen Caprice and we've kind of talked to Wallace. That's like two and a half friends, right? We make another friend now? Yes? Millie takes her coffee as the barista slides it across the counter before strolling over and daintily taking a seat at our table. She is so poised. I love her. Good afternoon, Allison. Eileen. Oh, I, I, I was surprised then for a second. She took her coat off. Of course she did. <laughs> She's not just going to sit here with her coat on. I'm... Huh. Afternoon. Welcome to Friday. Finally, so, yes. Any plans for the weekend? 
Eileen and I exchange a brief glance. I don't know if that previous line was meant to be voiced as well, but the the Eileen line just then was just the first word. <laughs> but that's okay. Eileen and I exchange a brief glance. Both of us are looking forward to plans we made for Saturday, but they're still the day after. Depends on the weather. I was thinking of heading out to the mountains with Wallace if it's not too bad. As Eileen takes a long drink of her coffee, the majestic mountain ranges and foothills around the city float to mind. They'd be freezing cold this time of year, but she seems to be made of stern stuff. I hadn't taken her to be the outdoorsy type, though. Hmm? That sounds nice. Hiking? Eileen shakes her head as she sets down her cup. We bought some permits for deer hunting. Oh dear. Okay. Um. Deer hunting? As in killing them? <laughs> she stares at me for a moment before looking downward, trying to make sense of the words. It takes an awfully long time for her to formulate a response. Huh? Well, we don't pet them. Wallace taught me how to shoot down at a range, and I take a loner whenever we head out. Oh dear. Yeah, it's... I see. I see. So that's what Wallace gets up to outside the writing club. I did wonder about that. It's nice that they found a way to bond as friends, but to think of a big proud deer lying dead on the grass... You do know how meat goes from an animal into a pretty little package at the supermarket, don't you? Of course I do, but I wouldn't want to personally involve myself at that level. Is that the point of a big day out for them? I'm on Allison's side here. <laughs> I, but I, I also realize a lot of this is a, a little bit of a culture difference too, because it's... Uh, no, no guns here. <laughs> So that's a that's a big, a big culture difference for a start, but uh, I'm very much on Allison's side here. Like, but, but, but the deers. I have to admit that I'm a little jealous of how they share this whole little world, but I don't think I could ever be a part of it. Millie reads the room quickly as I take another sip of my coffee. Like, <laughs> just the absolute uncomfortableness of this moment. <laughs> yeah, and I think there's like. Uh, uh, the idea of hunting for sport, to me, I'm... No, uh, anyway, anyway. Allison. Any plans yourself, Allison? Nothing so exciting, just shopping for groceries. Sounds like my weekend plans. I'm the only one of my roommates with a car, so it's easiest if I do the groceries myself. What, you mean you don't want Caprice to go grocery shopping with you and probably take random things off the shelves to put in the, the trolley? I don't see how that could go badly. Uh... Hmm. Speaking of roommates, what are your thoughts on this new club of Caprice's? At first I thought it was just a diversion, but she really does want her art club to work out. She's talked a lot about you two as well, actually. Eileen and I look to each other in concern, Millie offering no further explanation beyond an indulgent smile. <laughs> For all I tease her, I am sincerely glad to see Caprice so happy. She shines brightest when she has something to work on. Oh, I think I'm the same too. I'm 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 always I always feel better about myself when I'm like actively working on something. But that's also my problem, because it means I'm actively working on so many things and I don't finish them. I... I gotta finish stuff. I gotta finish stuff. It's nice to see Millie care so much. They strike me as caring for each other as more than roommates. <laughs> Almost sisters, or such. Yes, what could be more than roommates? Clearly sisters. Yes. Makes perfect sense. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway. 
While I still feel the familiar pangs of homesickness from time to time, I'm finally seeing that sometimes family is more than who you grow up with. We all have people around to support us and help in what we set ourselves to doing. So true! So true! Like, I'm a, I'm a big fan of found family. Like, I'm very lucky that I get along really well with my, my immediate family. But I also have so much found family too, like, so many of my friends that I have, like, a family-like relationship with. I, I think family doesn't have to just be blood. Like, it, it's really nice when it works out that way. But it's also so important to, like, find the people you trust. Like, find your people. It's good. That, that's family too. I like family. Hello! I've... Family is what you make it. And we could be a little family here too. Not to be too parasocial or anything. But just comfy family meeting. <laughs> I think it's all, it's, it's, it's all about like feeling comfortable and trusting. I think that's more family to me than just blood relations. It's... I... I I like found family. It's like it's like my favorite trope in media, like the found family trope. Like when, <laughs> when there's a group of people who all like band together and it's like, okay, we're a family now. That's that's the kind of thing where I'm just like, I'm I'm cheering now. I'm just like, whoa, yes, that's what I'm talking about. They're like, oh yeah, baby, that's what I've been waiting for. <laughs> a ping from Millie's phone rings out. Eileen and I going silent as she hastily takes it from her coat pocket. You trust me? I'm glad. I'm glad. I, I, I hope I can always be a trustworthy person. I, I want this always to be a, a place where you can feel like... Like you can trust that I'm not going to be mean to you for no reason. And just... <laughs> that kind of thing. I don't know what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean. I'm, I, love, I love and appreciate that trust. Thank you. <laughs> The resigned frown spreading on her face shows it's not good news. Noticing our concerned expressions, she soon moves to allay our worries. Ah, uh, don't know if I've heard of it. Oh, she loves to cook, she loves to eat. I love that. I love that series so much. I love it so much. It warms my heart. I, I love that. I love it so much. It's really sweet. It is one of the most wholesome things. I love it so much. Sorry, I have to go. Affairs in my own club need attention. Sometimes I wonder why I do this to myself. Bye. I ask myself that question all the time. Take it easy. Take care. Take care in the snow. It's starting to pile up. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'll make sure to. See you around. And off she goes. The two of us wave her off. Millie quickly doubling back to fetch her still full cup and take it with her. Yeah, don't leave your coffee behind. You paid for that. A brief silence ensues between the two of us as we sip at our own. Oh, as we sip at our own. The quiet chatter of other students and staff at the cafe providing background noise as we do. Sorry. Sorry for being so weird. About the hunting, that is. I was shooting my mouth off. Forgot you liked animals and that sort of thing. <laughs> Say, oh, sorry. I, I forgot that you you like animals. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's yeah, it's the kind of thing that's definitely be aware of who to bring it up around. I would say, <laughs> absolutely. Where'd you hear that before? Uh, me and Xander have decided that because we have defeated the Absolute, we're allowed to say it again now. We've we've destroyed the cult of the Absolute, so we're we're reclaiming the word absolutely. <laughs> we've decided it's allowed again now. But I'm still really aware of myself when I say it. Every time I say absolute or absolutely, there's a little part of me in my brain that's just going, hee hee, hee hee, Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> I didn't take you for liking the great outdoors. Being stuck indoors all the time is easy to do when focusing on painting, but it gets stifling after a while. It'd be 
nice to take a trip somewhere with Eileen, to the mountains or wherever else. Seeing the places she likes to go and how it influences her art. Probably not to go hunting, though. <clears throat> Millie's nice. Keeping the writing club going sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> See? Could never have had that nice chat if I hadn't called her over. You could stand to be a bit more social, you know. You're a good person. You'd get along perfectly fine with most. Yeah, but, 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 uh, but me shy. <laughs> I'm, I also identify with Allison again here. Honestly, the amount of ways I really feel like I identify with Allison is, she kind of reminds me of myself when I was younger. <laughs> she really reminds me of myself when I was younger, before I got a backbone and before I knew how harsh the world can be. <laughs> Oh, I love her. I, I want to protect her. I'm flattered by what she's saying, but I'm not sure exactly how to put that into practice. Without a reply forthcoming, Eileen gives a flustered sigh. Alison, why do, why, why do you think I joined this dumb club? When she mentions it like that, that I realize I never did give her a compelling reason. Caprice and I just pushed it on her until she broke. Or at least that's how I understood it. <laughs> Is it because you wanted to spend time with me? With little Omi? Hmm. Hmm. I actually thought about joining the existing art club for a while, back when they first offered. They seemed interesting to me and I was just some bewildered freshman who didn't know anything at that point. Over time, I realized they didn't give a damn about me. They just wanted my paintings and my skills. I was a trophy for their club, something to be shown off. That was when I gave up on them. Hmm? So you joined this one because Caprice was better? No. She's the last person I'd do this for. It's for me. For me. I... Join the club for you, Allison. You just wanted to hang out while I did my thing. I liked that. There were no mental games and no need to worry about ulterior motives. I had someone to share my interests with. That's all I really wanted. <laughs> I love this. It worked out pretty well in the end. I got someone to share my love of painting with and thought that maybe the club would help you open up a bit. She joined for my sake, as well as her own? I awkwardly fiddle with my coffee cup, trying to think of how to reply as my cheeks flush. I don't know what to say. Well, I do. We need to get to class. <laughs> Raising an eyebrow at the change of topic, I grab my phone and check the time. I really had completely lost track of time while relaxing here with Eileen. I quickly jump up from my seat, pushing it in as Eileen collects her things and swings her coat and scarf around her. Oh! Ah! Chemistry's just about to start. What class did you have coming up? Mm. Math. <laughs> oh, I feel you. Don't forget the polynomials. You got this. You got this, Eileen. I believe in you. <laughs> All energy dissipates from the situation as I pat her shoulder in sympathy. Hang in there, Eileen. <laughs> but they were talking about chemistry already. Yeah, there's plenty of chemistry here already. Oh, but it's the weekend now! Who cares about class? It's date time, I think. I think, are we going on a, a date to the zoo? A zoo date? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. The elephant's mighty trumpeting sends a couple of children scurrying away with giggles of laughter. The animal is excited about the small crowd watching on as they, they are of him. Stepping back from the enclosure and joining Eileen once more, the two of us walk on. Even as we bought our tickets, I'd wondered if coming here during winter was such a good idea. It turned out to be better than I could have hoped. <laughs> I've never 
ever been here with so few people around? Usually this is a complete madhouse. It's nice. Oh my god! Oh, 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 oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, we're safe. <laughs> oh goodness! Oh goodness me! <laughs> I need to have that on like a toggle or something. <laughs> Too much. Uncensored hand holding, my goodness. SF, hello, welcome! Oh my goodness, joining joining right as the uncensored hand holding is happening. It's so much. So much, but welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well. As we stroll on, Eileen takes my hand in hers as we walk. It's weird how such a simple gesture can make me feel so warm. My cheeks hurting as I smile. Oh, <laughs> wait. Rika, you're so right. Okay, but Eileen making that hunting comment ahead of their date at the zoo is wild. That is very wild. <laughs> so many jump scares. And before Addie walks in to see me censoring her art in the middle of the night. In the yeah, I'd be really worried if Addie did pop in to see me censoring her art, considering it is... Um... It's like past midnight right now. <laughs> I thought it was later than that, honestly. It's, it is past midnight for her, though. But <sighs> It's so pretty, though. It's... Ugh. My cheeks are also hurting as I smile. I've got to say, I don't remember the last time I smiled this much playing a game. Like, my cheeks are hurting from the smiles. You can kind of see with my model. It's not, like, super obvious, but, like, this is my model normally. But when I smile, if you look at my cheeks, there's a little bit of a blush when I'm, like, really smiling. Just like a little bit, but like I have been blushy playing this game so much, so much more than like since I can remember. <laughs> oh, it's so, it, is, it makes me so warm. It's giving you so much energy. I'm so glad. Me too. Your cheeks are hurting too. You might be gay. Mm. I think you might be. I think you may be, possibly. I mean, like, having a girlfriend is a little bit gay too, if you're a girl. A little bit, maybe. I'm not sure. <laughs> I may be gay too. <laughs> gay isn't happy or gay isn't gay. <laughs> both, why not both? It literally is both meanings of gay at the moment. I am so gay. <laughs> I'm having a great time. I'm so happy. I've seen it done in so many romantic movies, but actually feeling someone take my hand in theirs feels so unexpectedly comforting. Huh. You're easy to please. Without any real idea of how to respond, all I can do is keep walking. Maybe I should find it off-putting that Eileen's so calm about this sort of thing compared to me. I think I might even prefer it. She feels reliable, I think. Level-headed. Crowded or not, it's a nice zoo. <laughs> you had several girlfriends, sometimes at the same time. Yeah, that's a little bit gay. A little bit, teeny bit. Huh? You've never been here before? Considering I've only been in the city since college started, not really. I like the tiger hot dog. Wait, icy penguin to go? I want an icy penguin. I want an icy penguin, please. What is that? Is that like a slushy? I don't know what it is. Whatever it is, I want one. Anyway. Wait, where do you come from then? Russia. My family immigrated a few years ago, so still getting used to how things work around here. I didn't know. I didn't know she was Russian. The question of whether she was a native has genuinely never occurred to me. She doesn't have any kind of accent, so I would never have thought of it. 
If she's Russian, I couldn't tell at all. Hmm. That was a lie. Oh, okay. I was also too gullible there. Never mind. A sweet, sweet, pure, innocent minds. <laughs> hey, did you know that someone wrote gullible on your ceiling? <laughs> uh, I, I fully just believed it. I'm, I'm so... <laughs> Hmm. Oh. I can't tell if she meant for it to be a joke. Her expression makes it obvious she didn't expect me to actually fall for it. It's too late to laugh now and I just feel stupid for not questioning her. That's me too though, I'm so trusting. I'm, I'm really easy to fool with things like that because if you tell me something, I'll believe it. I'll just be, I'll just be like, yeah, okay, that's cool. Unless it's like really obvious and it's just like, actually, I'm from Russia. I came from Russia. I moved here a million years ago. Yeah, you know, definitely. Like, you've got to be so obvious. <laughs> if you just say something in like a, an offhand manner, I will believe it. I'm, I'm so, I'm too trusting. <laughs> I really am, Alison. <laughs> Oh, I wish I was Allison, because then I'd have, like, an Eileen girlfriend. That would be nice. <laughs> you gotta wink or I won't get it. Yeah, me too. It's just like, yeah, I'm Russian. Oh, can I wink? I can't wink. I'm sorry, I don't know how to wink. I'm, I'm, I'm winking with both eyes. Tell she's rushing with how fast she kissed Allison away. You're so right. <laughs> huh. I'm actually from around here, but moved to Colorado when I was a kid. I never had much interest in zoos. Colorado, huh? But why would you come back here? Moved out from my folks' place to make my own path, have my own home, partner, life, and all that. To choose to move so far away from her family especially to live in her apartment alone. It's hard to imagine considering how hard it's been for me. Having problems with her family is one thing, but jumping states to get away from them? Left wondering if I should delve into the topic any further, Eileen speaks up as we leave the Savannah area. The few people around the zoo seem to be congregating around the eating area ahead. Which is a good sign we should grab some lunch too. Let, yeah, let's grab an icy penguin to go. That sounds like lunch. Ah, uh, interesting thing to try and rig for my next model. Oh, I, I would be able to make this model wink if I wanted to. I just haven't set it up that way. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm not really a winky kind of person. But uh, yeah, the, when I, w with my re-rig, it's, it's going to be very easy to wink. Things are going to be a lot more, a lot smoother, a lot more like intuitive. But it's still in progress. I, I've got a lot of work. I've got a lot of stuff on my plate. <laughs> right, let's get lunch. Hungry? Just a bit. To be honest, I just need a rest. Eileen's pace is unrelenting, yet she looks fine despite how ragged I am. I don't understand it. Um, it's called exercise, Alison. And I also identify. I, we really are the same person, oh my goodness. I can't believe I'm Allison from the future. <laughs> I'll go grab something then. Go grab a seat for us before they're all taken, would you? Sure thing. Roger. Caprice's speech patterns are rubbing off on you. We both share a grimace at the idea before we part. Eileen heading for the hot food stall ahead as I skip down to one of the two unused tables on the outside of the seating area. It might also be a setting on the iPhone. Yeah, it's that's I, I've got it set to linked with eyes because my tracking is a little wonky because I, I have a very cheap iPhone. <laughs> I've got like the earliest iPhone with face ID that I can use. So it's not like the updated face ID stuff. So my tracking isn't like optimal but if i don't have like the linked eyes then i start doing like weird squinting stuff the whole time and it just doesn't look good so i just turned it off <laughs> but hopefully that won't be a problem when everything is re-rigged properly and i can fully 
make sure settings are working properly. I practically fall into the hard metal seat, watching the condensation from my breathing rise into the air as I recover myself. If nothing else, at least going out with Eileen will do wonders for my fitness. With several couples in line ahead of her, Eileen crosses her arms and patiently waits. I enjoy the view. Yep, yeah, I, I knew it. I can't help but let my eyes settle on her as she does. Ever since we've met, I've noticed how beautiful she is. She is so beautiful. Her order made, I'm a little impressed at her managing to bring the sodas and hot dogs over in one trip, with some very careful use of her fingers. Hungry from all the walking, I quickly slide mine towards me as she sets them down and takes a seat. I could do that too. I'm, I've gotten very good at, like, picking up loads of things at the same time and carrying them to a point where it looks like I'm going to drop everything, but I don't. I know Xander hates it. Xander hates when I do it. He's always like, just make two trips, you're gonna drop it. And I'm like, no, I'm not gonna drop it. Why would I make two trips when one does the job? <laughs> How much was my share? It's fine, don't worry. Ooh. Ooh, nice. You already bought my ticket. Be treated. <laughs> oh. I said it's fine. Besides, it's nice to dote on someone. It is. Ah. Oh, she's so good. When she puts it like that, it's hard to argue with her. Letting Eileen have her way, I start on my food. A loud bird squawks in the distance, its calls reaching right across the entire zoo. I've always liked the strange and unfamiliar sounds you get in a place like this compared to the relative quiet of the apartments and the routine sounds of school. Oh, you're so tempted to do that, but you're so clumsy. See, the thing is, I'm I'm kind of clumsy too a lot of the time, but when it comes to carrying things, I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> no, you can't unsee the blush, yes. <laughs> you, can, you can see how much I smile playing this game. I can't help it, it's just, I feel like this game just leaves a permanent smile on my face. I love it. <laughs> As comfortable as Eileen looks, packing up her quickly finished hot dog and soda and pitching them into a nearby bin, I can't quite seem to settle down. Thankfully, she's willing to take charge, given that I have no idea what I'm doing or how to act. Enjoying yourself? Uh... Ah, yes! Yeah. I really need to settle down. At least she doesn't seem to be too harsh on me for my nervousness, but... It's plainly obvious that this is my first date. That's good. I'm not sure what to make of you when you clam up. I'm sorry, I'm just nervous. There's a beautiful woman I'm on the date with. I'm just not as used to this as you are. I can't wait for Eileen to say it's also her first date. <laughs> what makes you think that? You've never gone out with someone before? Do I look like I have? I almost blurt out a rather blunt answer. Uncompromising is definitely the word for her, but that doesn't mean she couldn't have had a girlfriend before me. Especially at our age, come to think of it. At least I had the excuse of being a bit shy and focusing myself on schoolwork. Eileen said herself she's known since at least high school. Look. Alison. It's very easy to come out as gay. It is much harder at a young age to find other people who are also confidently out as gay to date. I, I, I love that I called it. I knew it. I, I figured I figured she would be. It's just because she seems like she knows what she's doing. I think Alison would be like, well, she knows what she's doing because she's done it before. But no, I, I think she's just... She's just good. She just knows what she's doing. Oh, that smile. Oh my goodness. Eileen brings her head down, resting her chin on her arms as they lay on the table. I'm dumbstruck as she looks up at me with those tired eyes of her. Oh, hi. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I beseech you. 
<laughs> hold on, hold on a second. I want to do something. I want to be silly. Give me a sec. I want to be silly. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Thank you. Thank you. Now we can continue. <laughs> Oh, the smile. For what it's worth, I'm glad you're my first. You're a sweet girl. Ah. Ah. Thank you for the head pat for me as well. <laughs> that look she gives me single-handedly explains why people do all this dating business. For one brief moment, it feels like the two of us are really in sync as we look into each other's eyes. <gasps> bird! Bird, 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 it's a bird, it's a bird, 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 it's a bird. Cute, cute creature appears, brain switches off. I'm, I'm just sat here now going, it's a bird. Oh my goodness, it's a bird, look at the bird. Only for a moment, though, before a small bird suddenly lands onto the table between us. I cannot think. I can't. I can't. Its head darts this way and that, but it doesn't seem in the least bit shy about parking itself in front of Eileen's startled face. It's a bird. What bird is well, it? Well now, hello there. Ah, a little fox sparrow. It's so cute. It's a fox sparrow. Hey. Nice. Allison identified it. Perfect. Oh, it's so cute. Look at it. <laughs> a little fox. <laughs> a little fox. <laughs> yeah, my, my brain immediately just went to, to Miho as well. <laughs> it's so cute though. Look at the little face. No. Even my excited whispers don't seem to bother the little thing, leading to me gingerly breaking off a little of my hot dog bun and trying to feed it. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Reese up for tiny burb! Come on, I'm... I'm waiting for the text to speech. Come on. Is the text to speech not gonna happen? Come on. Never mind. Anyway, thank you for resubbing for 23 months. Oh my goodness, that's so close to the two-year mark. Thank you so much, Dante Left. Welcome, welcome. Look at the tiny burp. It's so cute. It's so cute. You want to pat the burp? Okay, okay, give me a sec. Okay. We pat the burp. <laughs> Yay! Head pats for bird. Trying to touch it would probably make it fly off, but in, in the virtual world, we can pet all the birds we want. <laughs> Thank you for patting the bird. <laughs> you thought that was a cat in the game? <laughs> no, that's just the notification. It's Tiffany. Tiffany voice acted all of the notification sounds for my stream. So anytime you hear a cat meow, it's Tiffany. Because she refuses to meow when I'm live, so I have to record her offline and then forcibly put it in the stream. I wish she would just meow while I'm streaming, but she just refuses. She's shy. She's camera shy. Anyway, back to Bird. While a little too timid to outright take food from my fingers, it seems quite happy to pick at a few sprinkles of bun I leave before it on the table. Eileen seems content to simply watch our little companion. You know what it's actually called? <laughs> no, I made it up. <laughs> It's orange and white, after all. I like how she says that as though it's like common knowledge. Well, like, well, well clearly because it's orange and white, it's got to be a, a little fox sparrow. <laughs> I don't know anything about birds. I don't know anything about them except for how to identify like a pigeon and like a robin redbreast. That would be about it. <laughs> that would make it easy to remember. It would. I feel like I'm getting knowledge from this as well now. As the slightly chubby bird busies itself becoming a little chubbier, 
I feel my cheeks hurting from my smiling. Me too. Ooh. You really like animals, don't you? Yeah. I pause a little, but quickly start feeding again as the bird looks at me expectantly. If our little friend lives around the zoo, it's obvious how it could become so tame. We've always had pets back home, so I grew up around them. Aww. Yeah, this bird is clearly used to being fed. Your family keeps getting bigger and bigger. Must have been a hard change when you moved out. Having apparently had its fill, the bird spreads its wings and flies off at a surprising speed for its weight. I wave as it goes, my hot dog the worst for wear thanks to my picking at the bun. It's okay, it was worth it for bird. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! <laughs> Bye, little bird, I will never forget you. You're a dork. Thank you. <laughs> I laugh off her jab before returning to our conversation. <sighs> it was hard when I left, yeah. See, I'm I'm mostly Allison. If you replace the bird knowledge with cats, then I'm Allison. <laughs> Adorkable. Yes, she really is. It was hard when I left, yeah. I have a new family now, though. You, Caprice, Rose, and everyone else I've met at college. Yeah, real family. Disappointingly, Eileen looks rather skeptical at the idea. Then again, she doesn't seem to get on that well with anyone besides Wallace and I. I was always an optimist, I guess. Nothing wrong with that. Maybe some of it'll rub off on me. Eileen picks herself up from the table, giving a big stretch as she does. For a moment, we just look at each other, simply appreciative of the fact that we're here together. Allison. Hey, Allison. Huh? Yeah? As she picks herself up a little off her chair in order to lean across the table, it becomes obvious what she's doing. Relaxed enough to let her get away with a quick peck, I close my eyes and lean forwards a little in anticipation, my heart beating just that little bit faster. <laughs> as the feeling of her tongue hits my cheek, my body suddenly freezes up as a shiver runs down my spine. What? What? What is she doing? What are you doing? I hear myself give a weird startled gasp before I reflective, reflexively pull back into my chair. <laughs> what? Eileen looks rather nonplussed as she settles back into her own chair, her eyes studying me as she does. Why does she do that? What? Would I have her? Oh! What was that? You just had mustard on your chair. And she licked it off? Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> and I was maybe bullying you a little. No! The, th the teasing has already begun. The teasing has already started. I repeat. Emergency. We're already teasing. <laughs> oh my goodness. I feel my face flower into a, a wild blush as I grimace at her, partly for her betrayal after my expectation of an affectionate gesture, and partly for startling me so badly. I don't know quite how to read Eileen's interested expression, but I don't care to ask as I sulk. I am genuinely a little mad at her, but I don't think it's getting through. I'm still not used to the physical side of all this. I... I th I love that it's like, this is genuinely what my reaction would be too. I'm, I'm, oh, Eileen, why? Just a, a cheeky little cheek lick, I guess. Letting out an amused snort and picking herself up from her seat, Eileen dusts herself off and gets ready to go. <laughs> Come on, Miss Pouty Lips. Let's get moving before the weather goes bad. My goodness, I, I wasn't expecting a, a cheek lick. What the heck? <laughs> Eileen, please. 
As Eileen closes the door to the apartment, I let my coat drop to the floor as I collapse over the back of her couch in exhaustion. <sighs> also, Lynn, hello, welcome, welcome. Welcome on in, welcome to gay time. We're having a gay old time here. How this girl can keep such a pace up for a whole day is totally beyond me. Even now, she doesn't seem too bothered. The only sign she's tired at all being some stretching after she takes off her scarf and coat. Don't know why, but goofy romance always makes you smile. Me too. Me too. It's just like the silly moments. There's something about it that just... <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. I'm a, I'm a big fan of uh, breaking the, the tension with silly moments i love it it's just like it just feels so comfortable it's so it's so fun you haven't collapsed on me have you <sighs> i'm dead you can have my stuff better check before digging the grave remember how they used to do that sticking a big pin into a toe to see if they woke up from the pain is that an actual thing i don't trust her anymore i don't believe that oh Look at that, I'm suddenly alive. <laughs> Please don't stick a pin in my toe. I've heard of like pinching yourself to see if you're dreaming or not, but I've, I've not heard of like sticking a pin into someone's big toe. Hold on, I really want to Google this now. Dead pin toe stick. Oh no, I regret, don't Google that. It's horrific images of horrible foot injuries. I. I'm, you know what, I'm fine to just never know. I'm fine to just not know, let's continue. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> I say that. As she busies herself behind me, my eye is drawn to her entertainment cabinet that the television's sitting in. Ooh. With curiosity getting the better of me, and perhaps to distract my wandering mind, I walk around the couch and press at the right door to pop it open. I'm hardly surprised that the movies inside are all perfectly organised, but the genres she's collected are strange. Okay, strange how? <sighs> you want a coffee or something while you rummage through my stuff? I'm not rummaging, I'm just... I try to think of another word to describe what I'm doing, but it doesn't take long to realize Eileen's right. Looking like a kid caught with their hand in the cookie jar as she walks back over, I try to change topics. Um... Do you really like westerns or something? They're all either those or documentaries. <gasps> Yeehaw? Yeehaw, Eileen? Hey, hey! Sorry to disappoint, I just like westerns. Can't beat a nice simple plot with a good guy drifting into a town, getting one over on the bad guy, and walking into the sunset. Nice landscapes, too. Yeah, I, I could imagine her with, a, with like, a cowboy cowgirl hat on. I could imagine it, I could see that. Yeah. Sure... Right, that makes sense. Something feels off as we stand around in her apartment and chat, but it's hard to put my finger on it. The silences are just a little too long. The chatter nothing more than the small talk we've usually never needed. <laughs> Wait till she finds out about Cowboy Bebop. Ha! <laughs> ah. Here we are, the evening after a date and filling in time, milling about in her quiet apartment. Yeah, this is a little awkward. Uh, even the usual background noise of passing cars and busy tenants I hear around my home are nowhere to be heard. Just the two of us shuffling about alone. After a nice date, alone in her apartment. Oh, here we go. <laughs> the thought of sharing a night with Eileen has passed my mind more than once, even if I've tried to distract myself from it. Is it too early? Would she think I'm weird? I I don't even know how you even bring that up. 
Without any real reason to, I idly fiddle with Eileen's movie collection and read off the covers to seem occupied. It's like, oh, this one seems interesting. Uh, Brokeback Mountain? You know, our date doesn't have to end now. <gasps> she broached the topic first. Oh my goodness. What a moment for a raid. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hi, raiders. Hello. Welcome in, Pillow Fort. Hi. How's it going? How did the stream go? <gasps> you were playing Spyro. I love Spyro. Oh, I got the, the Spyro collection on Switch and replaying those games was such a joy. I love, I love Spyro. I hope you had a good stream. Thank you for bringing the raid this way. Pillow fight. Well, I think that's, I was going to say that's what's going to happen now. I don't know if I should say that. Uh, um, hi, welcome on in. Welcome to Yuri time with beautiful women who've just been on a date together. And now there's awkward moments. Uh, welcome. <laughs> what a great time to raid. But uh, welcome on in. I hope the stream went well. Uh, to anyone who's new here, hello. I'm Liri. I'm a pink-haired cat girl from the UK. And I love comfy games and puzzle games. I'm also a little bit gay. I, th th that's an understatement. I'm, I'm just gay. Uh, <laughs> and today is comfy visual novel Yuri time. We got women... We got women, and they're great, and I love them, and this game makes my heart so warm. I feel so, like, emotionally enriched playing this game. And this is a free prequel. This is a free prequel to a game I want to play. And I'm already just, like, I've, I feel like I've gotten my money's worth from Twofold without even playing Twofold yet. <laughs> I'm so excited to get to that. Eventually, maybe next year. Maybe maybe in a couple of months when I finally finish this and stop getting distracted at every every single moment. It's all good. It's all good. But yeah, you raided at a great time. Uh, we're just like awkwardly lingering after the date. And Eileen has just said, you know, our date doesn't have to end now. <laughs> we stand the women in this channel. Yes, I'm I'm glad. I'm glad. But yeah, thank you so much for bringing the raid this way. Uh, if you've got to head off or like get some rest, have some food or drink, please don't feel like you have to stick around. But if you want to, uh, tender moments, wholesome, I hope. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Okay. As her words trail off, my heart freezes. Her stoic face only makes this worse. My brain freezing between bashfulness and shock at her being so blunt. We've only started dating, but the thought of sleeping together had passed my mind. Left spluttering about, I awkwardly turn away to hide my expression. Um, do you want to watch one of them together? Oh, Alice. <laughs> Me too. I would do that too. Do what you want. I'm going to take a shower. Oh, oh. Oh, you are? <sighs> right, I'll just get a drink. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, ha, ha, ha. She's taking a shower. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Carl St. <Saint> Lou, hello. <laughs> Hi, welcome, welcome in, and thank you for following me too. Welcome, wow, you joined at a um a moment. You joined at a moment. This game has been so sweet and tender and wholesome. I love that you're entering at this point. I'm just. Hi, how's it going? Welcome, 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 welcome on in. I got that. We got women. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Caught in 4K. Uh, uh, as she leaves, I wander over to the kitchen and grab a glass, pouring some orange juice for myself to try and refocus. My heart's still racing. The thought of what Eileen suggested still playing on my mind. See, I've got a feeling now. I've got a thought that this moment is probably where something would happen if I had the 18 plus patch installed. 
But I don't. Because this is a family-friendly stream. And I am live on Twitch, so I don't have the 18 plus patch installed. But I think this would be a moment where something could happen. Um, I'm... Don't, don't, absolutely no reason why I'm saving here, don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, but I, I don't... I'm, we're, not, we're not having any of the, the spicy moments with this. I've, I've, I'm not installing <laughs> the 18 plus patch. Yeah, and yeah, I think the the painting scene is also one too because it was like uh, she she was modeling the nude painting, but we did it with with a, with a towel, and um, I also um um don't worry about it. Ah, uh, he 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 No, I don't want to quit. I want to close the menu. Oops. <laughs> But yeah, if, if anyone does want to play this game as well, it is free. It is free on Steam. Fully free to play. It's a prequel to Twofold. You can play it yourself. For free. Yeah, honestly, I wouldn't I wanna want to stream 18 plus content anyway. I'm I'm not I I wouldn't want to do that. That is not something that I've ever expressed a desire to want to do so please don't expect anything like that from me <laughs> this is like the closest it'll get but uh but no i'm please please don't come in like expecting spicy things that's not gonna happen <laughs> it's about the comfy times we're probably just gonna have a really awkward time and then like a tender moment and then the morning after i think we will see didn't I used to stream Borderlands? I did, but it's like, that's that's a different thing. I'm talking about like sexual content. I'm not interested in 18 plus sexual content. I'm I'm here for like comfy, cozy times. Like I, I do play a lot of like mature uh, games on like Family Fridays with my brother, but that's mature in like a violence sense. Like it's it's violence and gore. Never, never like sexual. <laughs> you know what I mean. It's like I like to keep things, um, I guess like PG-13. It's like we, we could do it, that, it's, innuendos are okay from time to time. Like if something happens that is very like hee hee hee, we can have a giggle over it, that kind of thing is fine. But no, this is, this is a very not 18 plus kind of stream and honestly like even when i'm playing super violent games i still like try and make them comfy <laughs> still having a cozy time just be like oh dearie that person's head just came off uh what a shame anyway <laughs> but uh no not even like 18 plus language too i'm like i don't i i feel like it's like I don't have like like an active rule. It's like please be reasonable. Please watch your language. Like I don't mind the the odd swear word now and then because like people just like swear sometimes. But it all depends on like the context. Like if you're just constantly swearing and there's no real need for it, I will ask you to tone it down. But but yeah, it's it's, it's like just like reasonable times. But yeah, no ludes, not here. Not here. Not for me, please. Not me. I'm just a, a weird nerd. You wouldn't. You, you shouldn't loot me anyway, because I'm just weird. I'm. I'm just like the creature sitting, knocking things off your shelves. Like, <laughs> don't, don't loot. Them. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it's, it's something that's always been like my boundary. Like, I, I don't want to do like sexual content just because like that isn't comfortable for me, so I just don't do it. <laughs> also, Shy Pie, hello! Welcome, welcome! Wait, context, Australian! Yeah, it's th th that kind of thing, like... It's it's all context-wise. Like... <laughs> like, try and be reasonable as well. Like, don't, don't use things as an excuse to swear more often. But, uh, it's... It's kind of ended up really funny in a way, though, because, like, I don't, like, actively censor myself but I don't really swear very often 
anyway, like naturally. I don't swear, like, I, I hardly swear when I'm streaming. But then it's so funny because it means that the moments where I do swear have way more impact. Because <laughs> everyone's just like, oh my goodness, Lyric just said a bad word. What? What? She doesn't swear. It's, it's, it makes it funny, honestly. <laughs> But yeah, let's get back to uh, this awkward situation. My heart's still racing. The thought of what Eileen suggested still playing on my mind. I wonder if I should really be letting Eileen take care of so much. She doesn't seem to mind at all, but that's not really the problem. Even now, she suggested we do what I did want... Uh, even now, she, she suggested we do what I did want to try. Oh, wait, no, hold on. I think there should be a comma here. Even now, she suggested we do what I did want to try, and I couldn't even bring myself to just accept. Yeah, she's so shy. She's so precious. I love that she's like, she's she's like, I think about dodgy things. Eileen's like, dodgy things? She's like, no, d d no, just just thoughts. No, no do. <laughs> and Zarok, thank you for the hydrate and posture check. I will have a big stretch. And sit up straight and have another sip of my peachy keen monster. I can't get over how peachy this is. Oh, it tastes so nice. Oh, it tastes so good. It's so peach. It really does just feel like I'm eating a peach every time I take a sip. I want to get closer to her, but it feels like everything's happening at her pace. Then again, Eileen's not the only person in my life I've let dote on me while I go with the flow of others. I don't know if I should be worried here. The door from the bathroom opens as I set down the now empty glass, but the words are stolen from my mouth as I walk over to talk with her. Yeah. Oh, gonna go lurk and have a nap. Oh, I hope you have a lovely nap. Thank you for bringing the raid this way. I hope you rest well. I hope you have a good, good nap time. But yeah, sleep well. But yeah, Eileen just being super smooth and Allison just not knowing what to do is so relatable. <laughs> I love it so much. I love them. I love the the contrast between like the calm and the very not calm. Oh, you're drinking a pineapple and raspberry cordial. I've never tried pineapple and raspberry before. I feel like that would be so nice. Ooh. Pineapple and raspberry. I feel like that would go so nicely together. Oh, I want to try that now. I hope it's nice. I hope you're enjoying it. Right, what is what is going on here then? Yep, it is exactly what I thought. Uh, <laughs> I'm guessing the patch does not have a towel here. Alison. Oh! Huh, were you getting clothes? Um, sorry. My face burns hot as I stammer out the words, but she only steps closer. She takes my hands to stop me from moving away, holding them softly. Her face is so, so close to mine. I can feel her breathing. Her eyes look into mine, questioning. Suddenly, the thought of even a kiss makes my head light. All I can do is nod a tiny nod, which is enough for her to close the distance, kissing me more deeply than she ever has before. My heart races as her tongue touches mine, teasing it just a little before pulling back. Yeah, this is like the, the limits of spiciness that I'm willing to get to right now. I'm... <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, oh, I can hardly breathe by the time we separate, left clutching my chest and taking a deep breath to try and regain myself. It looked like you didn't get it, so I decided to be more blunt. She was fully just being like, I'm going to take a shower, come join me, wasn't she? Like, that's, <laughs> that was fully what she was intending there. And Alison was just very sweetly like, okay, I'll grab a glass of orange juice. <laughs> oh, I love her. I love Alison. Oh, wow. Whew, okay, there's the fade to black, thank goodness. Uh, <laughs> With our excitement over. 
For, yeah, here it is. The two of us had a shower to clean up before settling in for the night. Yes. Oh. Oh, this is so sweet, though. Oh, this is so sweet and wholesome. It's a... Oh. Oh. The snuggles. The bed snuggles. Enveloped in a soft, loving warmth as Eileen cuddles me. I always want to nod off already as she gently strokes the back of my head. Given how cold she can be towards others, it's a real surprise she's so physically intimate. I have to admit that I like this side of Eileen, snuggling into her body as I think so. I love you, Eileen. Oh, oh. I know. You did not just hand solo her, I swear to God. No. <laughs> That's not what you're supposed to say. Uh. All right, all right. I love you too. Better. Better. Even a few weeks ago. I never imagined I'd be sleeping with someone. Oh, it's, it's literally sleeping in this situation. <laughs> we won't see each other for a while, so we have to make the most of our time before holidays. Oh, I forgot about that. No, wait. Wait, she's going home for the holidays. Oh, I'm, I'm really hoping that all of this ends up with her inviting Eileen back home with her for the holidays since otherwise Eileen would spend it alone, probably. That's what I'm hoping for in my little in my little gay heart. Oh yeah, I'd forgotten about that in all the excitement. It'll be nice to see everyone again, but there's a pang of disappointment that I can't be with Eileen more. You'll be going to stay with your family, right? No. Of course, she obviously won't. Yeah. Oh, oh no, she will, bad, okay. So. At least it'll be a nice change of scenery. Oh, it'd be nice to see my sister again, too. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, she did say she gets along really well with her sister. So I could see her going back for her sister. That makes sense. Never mind. At first, I was just like, with everything she said about her family, why would you presume she would... <laughs> she would want to spend the holidays with them? But it, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. As Eileen thinks about her faraway family, I'm reminded of my own. I'd been excited to go back home for the holidays for weeks now, but with her gone? You okay? Ooh. I'll be fine. I just wish I could go with you. Oh. Sorry? As a plan forms in my head, I try to summon the same strong will she and Caprice have. I'd like to be with you over the break. Could I come? Allison. But she... But she's so excited to see her family. What? Oh. Oh, she... Oh, wow. Eileen looks unsure of what to say. I wonder if she's trying to decipher if I'm making a serious suggestion or not. Even I don't know. And you talk about me going fast. Didn't you want to see your own family really badly? Yeah. I, I do, but they oh. won't be back home right away. I'll go back oh. before Christmas. I just... Uh -huh. I don't want to be alone until then. She looks taken aback. I suddenly find I'm actually arguing for this, instead of merely voicing a whim. I'm not really sure about this. You've never been outside the city, let alone the state. Then there's the fact that you'll be in a house full of strangers. I coped with moving into Rose's apartment, and I'll be with you. After how much you've helped me until now, I'm sure I'll be fine. <sighs> That's, oh, that's su such a true line. You know it's love when you get homesick when you go home. Ah, uh, another home. 
She tries to stare me down, but I've managed to find an internal willpower in some corner of myself I didn't know existed. Eventually, thankfully, Eileen lets out a long, tired breath. Uh, fine. You win. You can come. Oh, the ghoul! Uh, thank you. Uh. Just don't try to fix things, okay? Oh, oh god, yeah, I didn't even think about that. Uh, and it's a very real possibility that Allison will go along and try to mend Eileen's relationship with her parents. Ooh, uh, <laughs> as I snuggle into her warmth with a grin of victory, Eileen silently smiles as she pats my head once more. Oh, that's so sweet, though. It's so sweet. Oh, my heart. Is there even a bad route? Uh, this is a, a linear visual novel. That It's not one with, like, choices and different paths and stuff. It's just a, a prequel story. So it's so no, I don't think there is a bad route. <laughs> it's just it's just learning about Alison and Eileen. Oh good, yeah, m my thoughts exactly. I'm just like, yes, this is Yep, just one <laughs> straight story. Maybe not straight. Not quite straight, but no, I know what you mean. <laughs> it's like when I sit up straight and I'm like, wait, but I'm gay. I can't do that. <laughs> But yeah, it's 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 not like there's not going to be like a bad end option and suddenly they break up and everything's horrible because I'm very glad about that too because my heart would not be able to take. <sighs> the classroom lies silent save for the scratching of pencil against paper. I've already finished my math test, the unwillingness to be the first to turn it in being the only thing keeping me glued to my desk. I'm thankful for the chance to rest though. Eileen's pace as we scooted around the zoo took all my effort to keep up with. And then there was the other business we got up to. Yes, when you when you just had a shower and then just fell asleep. Yes, I know. That business. Someone finally brings his paper to the front. Other students following suit soon after. I, I love the thought of everyone waiting because they don't want to be the first one to hand it in. I would also do that. Oh, I think that, yeah, the term is kinetic. Yeah, if it's a kinetic visual novel, it's just like start to finish. It's not like options and branching paths. Ba -ba -ba. Yeah, when they snuggled into bed, that business, yes. It's so exhausting to fade to black, right? <laughs> I quickly join them, eagerly placing my test on the teacher's desk and packing my things afterwards. The last final of the semester now over, I'm ready to go home. And to see Eileen one last time before she leaves for Colorado. Hey! Oh, that was loud. Hi! The loud voice from behind makes me jump in startlement. Hey! Oh, Caprice, hey! My heart slowly moves out of my throat, with Caprice and I starting off together towards Art Club. I had considered asking Eileen if we could walk back to her apartment together instead. But I couldn't leave without saying my goodbyes to Caprice, and Wallace, if I could find him. What brings you to my class, anyway? Uh... Millie wasn't around, so I got lonely. So I'm the second choice, huh? Well, at least I can be around for her. <laughs> you two really are close, aren't you? <laughs> yes, like roommates, like, like sisters. Very close, yes? <laughs> yep, we grew up together and now we even live together. Millie and me and Haley. I was right. I was right. I knew it. I got the roommates. I guessed it. She's our other friend. We take good care of each other. There really are all kinds of relationships. It's so different from high school where everything was neatly organized into friends, classmates, or strangers, and we all just lived with our parents. Do you have a roommate? What are they like? I live with a family friend. She's nice, even if she looks a bit rough. I have the apartment to myself a lot, though. The statement seems to give Caprice food for thought. Hmm. You shouldn't look so tired. School's finally over for the year. Yeah! 
And that's why we're having an extra special art club meeting! Huh? Extra special? You'll see what I mean. I have a feeling she's working this out as she goes along. I still can't decide if I like that spontaneity of hers. It's endearing, but there's no sense of stability to her like Eileen has. As we head towards the art building, we spot Eileen just outside. Busy huffing into her hands and rubbing them together for a little warmth, it takes a moment for her to notice us. See, I think uh, Caprice and Eileen is uh, like... Uh, Eileen is like the immovable object. Caprice is the unstoppable force. If you know what I mean. That's that's those two. They are both powerful forces. And that's why they clash so horrifically to begin with. <laughs> Eileen! Eileen, hi! As she looks up in my direction, I notice her shoulders relax a little. It wasn't long ago that I only ever saw Eileen tense and on guard, but... Now she reflexively relaxes when around me. It's nice. For her part, Caprice just bowls on her head without a care in the world. Hey! <laughs> Eileen tenses right back up as she sees my companion, the moment lost. Still, I'm left rather happy at the effect I have on Eileen, whether she notices it or not. Afternoon. Afternoon, you two. Caprice, why are you looking at me like that? It's creeping me out. Caprice grabs onto both our shoulders and to my surprise directs us away from the arts building. We've had a change of plans. Huh? Do I get a say in this? Once again, Caprice either doesn't hear or chooses to ignore the question. <laughs> Of course you don't have a choice in this. It's Caprice. <laughs> By the time we arrive at my apartment and shirk our coats, it's already dark enough to flick the lights on as we enter. Apart from the sound of passing cars, the only sounds are Caprice's exaggerated sounds of thoughtful inspection. Eileen raises an eyebrow as Caprice whips out her phone to take a photo for posterity, the item disappearing into her pants pocket almost as quickly as it appeared. What? Why, why? Will you just leave that thing? You've been fiddling with your phone on the way here more than Allison does. Hmm. Hey. Hmm. Well, it's true. Caprice gives a thumbs up, but it has the opposite effect, if anything. Her agreement is a little too quick, given how stubborn Caprice usually is. So, Rose isn't here then? Hmm. She drifts in and out. I've given up on trying to work out any schedule to it. Cool! Cool posters! They're my roommates. She's been living here longer than me, so the decorations are all hers. A knock on the door rings out. Four light taps struck with a metronome's timing. Come in! Door's unlocked! Huh? Huh? What's going on? This is my apartment, you know. Caprice just grins, drawing a grimace from Eileen. What did you think I was on my phone for? I called over some friends. Oh my, wait. Caprice, no, what? She was just like throwing a party at my house. What, I didn't agree to this? Hi. She's doing this because she knows that Alison is too baby to say no, isn't she? Because Alison has no backbone to say, actually, no, I don't want all these people at my house. Oh, goodness. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> right. Right. I love you, Caprice, but you are an introvert's nightmare. It's so true. Hi. The old door creaks open with Millie's head peering into the living room. Oh, and Wallace, too. Assured that she's come to the right place, she skips in with the unmistakable figure of Wallace following her like a giant shadow. Millie! Hi! Millie! Have you heard from Haley? 
Millie answers as she takes off her coat. Wallace doing the same for his scarf. Hello there. Okay, I guess we don't get to meet Haley. Will that be a twofold thing? Maybe. She's at home sleeping. Seems like finals tired her out. Come on. She never wants to go anywhere. Maybe she's an introvert. Caprice. Maybe she just wants to sleep. <laughs> I don't know this, Haley, but I feel like I can relate. It's not just about finals or going particular places. Being around people is exhausting in itself. Lately, I've been looking forward to it, though. Even if it takes a lot out of me. As, like, me, too. I'm... I'm, like, I'm the kind of introvert where I, I am very introverted. I definitely lose energy being around people but I also like being around people I'm I'm <laughs> I'm that kind of like introvert who exhausts myself because I like talking to people and being around people but then I realize afterwards I'm like I need to go sleep for a week <laughs> it's why I like streaming too though because it means I get to interact with people and talk with people but it's like on a time limit so I know that when the stream is done, I can go and rest on my own <laughs> to recharge my batteries. It's like the perfect introvert socializing. It's great. The clinking of bottles draws my attention, looking downward, showing a six pack of bottled beer being carried in one hand and a plastic bag with a couple of brightly colored nacho packets visible inside. Caprice looks up to the two, surprised just as I am by the present they've brought along. Okay, how old is everyone here? I don't think... I think Wallace is the only one of drinking age here. Maybe? I don't know. I mean, drinking age in the UK is 18, so they would all be fine drinking if they were in the UK, but they're not. Oh, thank you for the hydrate too! Let me, let me have a sip of my... Peach. Ah, oh, honestly, just lifting the can, it smells so nice. Like, before I even take a sip of it, the, the smell is so lovely. Yeah, ah, oh, drinking age 21, but driving 18. I'm pretty sure driving is like 16 in the US as well, which is so wild to think of for me. But yeah, I don't I don't think they're of drinking age, so um <laughs> <laughs> Just a little something for the special event. I guess we'll soon find out anyway. And I have no idea if the laws are different in like in your personal residence? I don't know. I know there's rules in the UK where like if you're like in your own home, it's okay to drink below the drinking age. But it's like a very specific, like, scenario. I don't know exactly what it is. But yeah, anyway. Uh... <laughs> I can't believe you didn't take the Santa hat they were offering, though. Not happening. I'm not wearing a Santa hat, Christmas or not. Sorry. Sorry, what did you say? Sorry, Wallace, what was that? Hold on, what do I... Where is it? Uh... What was that, Wallace? Uh... Oh, no, I can't find it. Sorry, Wallace. Uh, what was that? What was that you said? Uh, <laughs> what did you just say? You're a uh, what? <laughs> You're not? You're not, are you? I see. Sorry, I had to... It took me so long to find that Santa hat. I think but the fact that it's May probably doesn't help. Wallace tried to hide the file from me. Can you believe him? I can't believe he did that. That was that was worth 
the inordinate amount of time it took for like the tiniest bit. Anyway, <laughs> why not? Would have suited you. <sighs> Don't you start. So this was Caprice's plan. A party to celebrate the end of college for the year. I really would have preferred her to just tell me, but there's also a begrudging respect that she apparently managed to organize all this during the short trip from college to my apartment. I'm about to warn Wallace about Millie casting covetous eyes over his beer when Eileen leans over and murmurs in my ear. Allison. Oh, she's so considerate. I'm my heart. Ah. Oh. Is a party here going to be a problem for you? Sure. It'll be fine. I think. Look, if it's just like five people, that's that should be okay. It's if she starts inviting more people that we have to start worrying, I think. <laughs> Satisfied with my answer, she steps over to the couch and takes a seat with a sigh. Despite my waving off of the concern, I appreciate Eileen's sense of responsibility. As we talk, Wallace sets down the beer and chips on the table. Caprice wastes no time in scooting over and ripping open the bag, Millie soon following and taking a seat across from her. The fact she steals one of the beer bottles doesn't go unnoticed. Millie. <laughs> Wallace. Just the one? It won't hurt, right? Hey! <laughs> Hey, stop hogging the chips! I know, it's so- it fills my heart with so much warmth, the way she's just immediately just considering, like, she realizes that Allison would not say no to this even if she was uncomfortable with it, and she's willing to be the one to say no, like, to help her out, like, oh, that's- <laughs> ah, I love it. But I'm hungry! Wallace just sighs, defeated, as the two bicker over the food. I feel a little sorry for him, but given he did bring them... Make yourselves at home? Eileen gestures for me to join her, jerking her head. Giving up any thought that I could control them, I skip over and take a seat on the cushion next to her. Blah, blah, blah. Technically, she did invite more people, it's just that... What? I don't know what you mean by that, I'm sorry. Uh, giving up on any thought that I could control them, I skip over and take a seat on the cushion next to her. As Eileen turns towards the television, she finds a beer bottle held in front of her face. Looking up to the smiling Wallace offering it, she takes it in her hand. Are we all drinking? Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah, yeah, she invited Haley too. No, I mean, like, it's different when it's, like, a party with close friends. It's when it starts getting to the point of, like, bring your friends, friends, bring your friends, 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 that it'll get out of hand. But uh, I don't think Caprice would be the type to do that anyway. She probably knows so many people, but she's specifically, like, kept it to the people that she knows Allison knows, which I think is very sweet. Except for Haley, but that would like make sense for Haley to come along with the other roommates. So yeah, at least there's that. Anyway, Merry Christmas, Eileen. <laughs> is that is that his Christmas present to her? <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Also, Sanya Mita, thank you for the posture check and hydrate. Oh, let me have a big stretch. Ooh, sit up straight. Have another sip of my peachy monster. Oh, it tastes so nice. It's so peachy. I love it. I love the peach. Then I welcome in. Oh, that's so funny if he's just gonna be like, Hi, I gave you a beer out of my six pack. That's your Christmas present. <laughs> Cheers. Same to you. The two clink their bottles together, popping the lids with a bottle opener on Wallace's keychain before Eileen slouches back into the couch. While the thought passes my mind that the last thing I'd want is an alcohol-fueled mess at my place, 
Those fears are put to rest as the two gently sip away. They're just friends sharing a drink, not party goers looking to get as drunk as they can. Yeah, the difference between drinking and drinking, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, the difference between drinking and having a drink, I guess. They're just having a drink. Yeah, looking around the room, this sure is low key for a college party. We're just friends drinking and gossiping. It's nice! Far from the wild craziness I expected when I heard tales about college when growing up. Guess I fell in with the right crowd. I think she did. She got very lucky. She definitely fell in with the right crowd here. He. What are you doing hanging out with us losers anyway, Millie? Writing club not doing anything special? No, not really. They're doing this and that, but most of them seem to have plans. The leader and his friends are graduating, so it's going to be up to me to keep the ship sailing. Oh no, is it going to be a situation where she's becoming the new leader of the club, but there's not going to be any members left? Oh. Ugh. I think that's going to be exactly what happens. I, I bet that's going to be part of twofold story. I think Millie and Caprice are both going to need club members. Because they don't have enough. Oh, that's going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. Sounds like you're going to have your hands full next semester then. Always up for a challenge. Hi. Wallace! Hey, Wallace! Caprice's excited tone as she wolfs down her mouthful of nachos fails to enthuse him. Remember what we talked about at the pizza place? I mean, about your club and all. No. <laughs> Good talk, have a nice day. So excited for Twofold, me too, I'm so excited. Ah! But... No. Millie grins triumphantly at her friend's expense. I feel a little sorry for Wallace being caught in their rivalry. Club rivalry! Club rivalry! I'm the only one who notices the creak of the door, my attention wholly focused on it as I wonder who's arrived. Part of me worries that Caprice organised for more people to come. The girl now bickering with Millie. As they do. It's just going to be Rose, isn't it? I hope. <gasps> yeah, it is! Hey! Come on in, Rose. Uh, grab, a, grab a drink. Come drink with us. <laughs> as the leather-clad woman steps in, everyone in the room suddenly drops into a dead silence as they stare back at her. The woman being just as dumbstruck. I love that the rest of them are just like, oh god, what's happening? And Rose is probably here like, Alison arranged a party? <laughs> like the disbelief that Alison would arrange something like this. Because she wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. Can't believe that this game is not just a great romance story by itself, but also such a great prequel. I love it. I love that it's... Oh, it's, it's just so nice. Like, I'm always a fan of, like, things that are set in the same, like, universe and the same stories and stuff. But I think it's so nice having all of this and getting to know the setting and some of the characters before going into Twofold. I think it's going to be fun. I'm really excited. In before Rose drinks all the beer, she's going to be like, right, I'm confiscating this. Head out on the balcony, down them all. Hey. Sup? I struggle to stifle a chuckle, never having seen Rose act so awkwardly before. <laughs> Everyone, this is my roommate Rose. Rose, these are my friends from college. The clarification has the intended effect, everyone relaxing as soon as the words are said. Sure is some wild party you got going on here. Oh yeah. No, oh, actually. I'm left wondering what she's doing as she clicks her fingers and dives back for my coat. Huh? After a few minutes fishing about, she manages to pluck out my phone. 
After handing it to me to enter the unlock code, Rose stands back in the corner of the room and holds it up in both hands. Just gonna take a quick photo for the folks. Smile, guys! <gasps> yeah! Caprice and Millie need no further prompting, leaning towards each other as Caprice flashes a V and gives a toothy grin. Look at this, so cute! This is so cute! Oh, look at them! Look at this! I simply lean towards Eileen. Eileen, Eileen, Eileen on Eileen. Eileen on Eileen. As she does the same. <laughs> As we do, I idly note that this will be our first photo together. Eileen. Oh. oh, I love this. The couple shot. I love this. Oh, look at everybody. As Rose brings the camera steady, I can't stop myself from smiling. I spent so long stressing about being away from my family, but before I knew it, I found myself surrounded by a new one. I love Wallace just like, complete caught in the headlights expression, just standing there. <laughs> He's so awkward. He's, it's just the, the, the situation of just like, someone's taking a photo, just like, ah. Uh, how do I pose? I'm gonna just sit here. I'm, I'm just standing here. Oh my goodness, mihoi minoimoi! Welcome, welcome, thank you for the raid! Welcome on in! You came in a great time, look at this, look at this party happening. <laughs> he looks photoshopped in. <laughs> he just looks so awkward standing there. I love the thought of everyone immediately running to poses and he's just like, Um, I will stand at the edge. I am here. It's just like, look, look at all the girlies! Also, Wallace is here. <laughs> But welcome in, Raiders! I hope the Enshrouded went well. I hope you had a good stream. Thank you for bringing the raid this way. Welcome into Yuri time. We are we're approaching the end of the stream now, so it's not going to be for super long, I'm afraid. But thank you for bringing the raid this way, the way. Thank you, thank you. I hope you had a good stream. To anyone who's new here, hello. I'm Liri. I'm a pink-haired cat girl from the UK, and I love comfy games and puzzle games. And this game is, like, comfy comfort to the, the biggest degree. My heart is so full. My heart is so warm. I love this game. Also, Wallace is here. Hi, Wallace. <laughs> but thank you for bringing the raid this way. I hope you had a good stream. And uh, if you have to head off and rest or, like, get food and drink, please don't feel like you have to stick around. But if you want to stick around for a bit, look, they're having such a great party. Honestly, this is my kind of party. Like, I've been to a lot of parties in my time. In my time, back when I was a youngin. <laughs> I've been to a lot of parties, but like the best times I've had, it's generally been like room parties at anime conventions. Like the best parties I have is like when we leave the main party areas and there's just like four or five people going back up to someone's hotel room with a couple of drinks and just chatting and hanging out. That's my kind of party. Those are the parties I like. So this is like my kind of party too. Like just everyone just hanging out, having a few drinks, just enjoying the company. I want to I want to be at this party. This looks great. This is this is I want this. <laughs> but oh, I love this game. But thank you for the confetti too. Ha. <sighs> The women and Wallace. As Rose brings the camera steady, I can't stop myself from smiling. I, it's true, I cannot. I spent so long stressing about being away from my family, but before I knew it, I found myself surrounded by a new one. We might all be a bit odd, but we get along. I found someone to hold dear, and who cares for me? We're all in this together, celebrating life in my little slice of the city. I've finally made a life that I can call my own. Thank you, everyone. Rose, Caprice, Wallace, even Millie. Even though I've talked to her like twice ever. <laughs> Three times now. And especially Eileen. This is such a nice photo. This is such a nice picture. I love this. I love this so much. Oh, look at them. Oh. 
A World Apart, begin Act 3. Finally, I did Act 2. Oh my goodness, this game is so much longer than I thought it would be. Like, I thought... At first I was like, well, we have the confession, that's going to be the end. Then it was like, no, actually, day after, we're going to do more now. It's after the afterwards as well. And then at that moment too, I was like, that would feel like an ending moment. But there's still more. <laughs> I love this. I love this game. I love this game. I've done two out of three acts. I've... I didn't expect this much. It's so good. Right, what time is it? God, it's already like approaching six. Do I do I start act three? Or should I wait until next time to continue? Because start continuing at the start of an act feels like it would be really fitting and nice. I might do it here. I might save here. And we'll have this as the starting point for next time. But uh, we're up to nine and a half hours at the moment. But uh, I've been, I've streamed this game for about 12 hours. We've, I've just been talking for that long. <laughs> I've, I've just been like, this. it's like, we're at nine hours 30, but probably only about eight hours of that is actually me playing the game. The rest of it is just talking. <laughs> but it's such a comfy game for that. It's such a perfect game to just relax, enjoy the atmosphere, enjoy the story. We get to talk about relationships, talk about family and what family means. Oh, it's so good. It's so comfy. Yeah, I think that's a good, a good spot to end the stream at for now. And then... Uh, maybe next time, so like three streams, three chapters. That would be a really sweet idea, but this is my third stream. <laughs> This is the third stream. I'm, I'm just very slow. It's probably, I think, if I keep going at this pace, and if the if Act 3 is the same length as the others, it'll probably end up being like a, a four and a half situation. But either way, if I finish early on the one time, we'll just go straight into twofold. Like my plan is once I'm done with this, we're, we're going into twofold. And so if I end this and we're halfway through a stream, I will simply begin twofold and we'll just keep going. It's just a constant, constant twofold Tuesday continuation. <laughs> but this game is just, I, this is such a joy to play. I'm having so much fun doing this. I'm so glad I'm streaming it because it's like, it's the kind of thing that's so nice to talk about with other people, like to, to share the experience together. So you, you get to like hear the, the strange strangled noises I make when um, spicy stuff happens. <laughs> it's so fun. I love it. It's so good. Oh, I feel like your neurons have been rewired into the shape of a smile. Yeah, me too. I've just been constantly smiling this whole stream. Like, my cheek muscles are feeling so... <laughs> my, my cheeks are going to be so sore after this. I just can't stop smiling. But it's just such a lovely game. I love this. I love it so much. But yes, I think that is a good spot for me to go... Whoop, to head on over to here and find a rate target. Let me move over a bit. I cannot move over. Hold on. What have I done? There we go. Let me go here. Oh, I can remove the, the donation goal from here as well. Give me a second, I reached that. Ba -ba -bum. Ba -ba -bum. I did it! I reached that goal. We don't need the bar up anymore. But yes, the, the tip goal got finished! I had it on the screen before, but I finally I reached the goal. So my, my Outer Wilds Collector's Edition is fully funded now. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everyone who supported me with that. I am I'm so I'm so excited for that. I can't wait until later in the year when it comes out. I'm excited. And ah, oh, fun being here for this, not having to work and work and work. I'm so glad. I'm so glad I was good company as well while you're trying to sort things out. But yeah, thank you so much, everyone. This it, this game is so good. Wait, guess what? <gasps> it's time, Rika. Rika, you did it. Oh my goodness, you did it! 
You reached the... Oh my goodness, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let me get you your shiny new badge. You made it. You got the VIP redeem. Yes! Bum, bum, bum. Da, da, da. There we go. I don't know how long it'll take to show up. Hopefully it won't take too long to show up, but oh my goodness, congratulations! Woo! Congratulations on being the, the newest VIP. I have given you a badge. I don't know how long it will take to show up in chat because Twitch is sometimes a little bit wonky, but you now have the VIP badge. And thank you so much for supporting me so much, for always like being so supportive and generous. It, it means a lot to me, it does. But yay, congratulations on the VIP! Oh, perfect time to do it too. Me just being like, right, I'm gonna head off now. And you just go, hey, wait a minute. You have something to do first. But yeah, congratulations! You got the VIP badge! But oh, I've just had so much fun playing this game though. I'm so glad I'm playing it. It's very heartwarming and nice. And then it's so funny as well because now I'm thinking about the game I plan on playing tomorrow and it's a weird quantum puzzle game. <laughs> it's gonna be a trippy quantum puzzle game that I'm playing tomorrow so we're, we're getting like really far from like the comfy visual novel vibes. <laughs> oh you had it saved up but waited until today because you love this game so much. Oh it's the perfect time to do it then. Add it to the VIP family as we're talking about found family in First Snow. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Thank you so much. But yeah, congratulations on the VIP. Right, now... I think it is time for me to try and find a raid target. So let's see who's live. There's quite a few people I know who are live. The decisions are always the hardest part. Also, Akira, thank you for another hydrate before I end. One more sip of my my peach. Oh, I'm gonna have to add the peach on my shelf as well, aren't I? I've got another flavor now. It, it ruins my, my perfect stack of three back there. <laughs> it's okay, it's worth it. It's worth it for the peach. It just smells and tastes so good. I'm, oh, I love it. But yeah, anyway, tomorrow I'm gonna be drinking flat monster ultra zero <laughs> it was worth it it was worth it but yeah let's try find a raid target i i'm so bad at choosing there's so many people i know who are live and i don't know who i want to raid oh maybe i could re raid someone i don't think i've raided before genuinely don't know if I've raided this person before or not, but I don't think I have. So I think I'm going to... I'm going to send the raid over to Kita Arias, who is a... a deer spirit VTuber with really comfy vibes, really comfy streams. I don't think I've raided Kita before. I don't think I've raided Kita before. This is the perfect opportunity. Anyway, I'm going to send the raid over to Kita, who is playing... Sea of Stars at the moment. I don't think I know this game. But it seems like a good time anyway. But yes, I'm going to send the raid over that way. And... I, I can't stop smiling. I'm just smiling so much. But here is the raid message. If you're subbed, we have the comfy emote. If you're not subbed, we have hearts. We will spread the love because this, my heart is so full of love right now. I love this game. But I'm going to send you over in Kitta's direction because, I don't know, it's exciting getting to raid people I've not had the chance to before. So I'm going to grab that opportunity. But yeah, it's been it's been such a nice time. It's been such a comfy stream. But uh, I will say as well, uh, if you're not subbed, you can only use the comfy on this channel. If you try and use it on another channel, it doesn't work. So you'll have to use the hearts, which is a shame. I wish the follower ones were just like universal, but I do understand why they don't do that because they want money <laughs> but 
But yeah, thank you so much for joining me today. It's been such a good time. I've, I've loved this. It's so good. But yeah, I should probably see about maybe getting dinner. But I'll be back tomorrow. I'm going to be playing a really cool looking puzzle game called Magnesium 173. 173? I think it's 173. I've already forgotten the name of the game. It looks really cool though, so <laughs> I just wanted to play it. Therefore, I am playing it. But yeah, that's the plan for tomorrow. But for tonight, I go rest. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. And until next time, bye-bye.